Hello, and welcome to Retro Rank Rhapsody. This episode, Namco Museum, the home game. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be taking another look at various Namco games. Um, except this time, we're not going to be taking a look at arcade Namco games. We're going to be taking a look at some of the games they kind of started out in the home. Because, um, yeah, not all of their stuff started in the arcade, even though a lot of it did. Um, some of their franchises, including one of their most prominent franchises, at least in Japan, that kind of made it over here, um, started out as a console exclusive. So we'll also be taking a look at some entries in franchises that were started in arcades that um, yeah, are very kind of depart almost departures from the uh, arcade. But uh, yeah, why don't we just go ahead and start and take a look. Okay, so yes, Namco Museum, the home game. Uh, Namco games that started in the console. Yeah, a lot of, especially a lot of the retro start, stuff started in the arcade, but not all of it did. Um, in fact, the very first game that we're going to take a look at, which I should probably get this up. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of their most prominent franchises, although it's one that didn't really leave Japan that much, though it did. Um... Also, it's going to be a first for us because, uh, well, we'll see shortly. This is Pro Yaku Family Stadium. Um, it's a baseball game. This is our first sports game. Um, yeah, it's a baseball game. Uh, yeah, uh, the whole thing with Namcot being, it's like the Konami Ultra thing. But yeah, um, if you're familiar with NES baseball games, you might think that this looks a little bit familiar. Um, this game came out over here as RBI Baseball. Um, Atari kind of took the game and kind of made it um, kind of a, well, since Japan's really into baseball just like us, um, they kind of took it and made it more Americanized. Um, in, the, in fact, I'm just going to just go ahead and start. So, we have these teams, and it says Japan League. Um, they're not technically the actual Japan League teams. Um, they are based, they are kind of roughly based on them. For example, uh, this G here is apparently based on the Yomori Giants. They are also called the Giants. Uh, the L is the Lionels, which are based on the Cebu Lions. Uh, the R, which is the Railways, which is based on kind of a merging of three different teams. The Hankyu... Nankai and Kitsetsu Union teams, apparently, is this what this is saying. Um, the Hiroshima, uh, the C, which is the cars, which are based on the Hiro Hiro Hiroshima Toyo Carp. Um, the Titans, uh, which are based on the Hanshin Tigers. Uh, the Food Foods, which are based on the Nippon Ham Fighters and the Lot Union team. Um, the Wheels, which are based on the Yo Yokohama Taiyo Whales. Uh, the D, which are based on the Drasans, which are based on the Chunichi Dragons. Uh, S, which is the Sparrows, which are based on the Yakuit Swallows. And uh, N, which is Namco All-Stars, which is not an actual team. Um, so I'm... I know about as much as about Japanese baseball as I do U.S. baseball, so... Yeah, I'm just going to pick the Lionels. Uh, also, you can uh, continue off where you left if you uh, yeah, wanted, if you are continuing a game that you played previously. Um, so when Atari brought this over, um, they didn't weren't able to get the actual like teams, uh, but they were able to get the players. Uh, they had uh, a license with the MLPA, so they were able to get like actual baseball players from the, the era. Also, I forgot what button is bad. Um, so yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's... It's a baseball game. That's hello. Damn it. That's gonna be an out. Um... The rules of Japanese baseball compared to American baseball, there aren't a whole lot. Uh, I think it's something like the ball is smaller, and I think the strike zone is slightly 
different shape. But, yeah, not a whole lot of difference. Um, I think you only really, you only have, um, when you're pitching, you can either, do, you can do a fastball if you hold down while hitting A, or you can do, up. Oh, what the, okay, there we go. How much one I was controlling. Uh, if you hold up in A, you'll do a kind of weirder ball, and you can, if you have left and right, you do actually have quite a bit of air control with the ball. Nope, I don't have it. Nope. Uh, so that's gonna be foul. But yeah, uh, this franchise has been uh, has been around for quite some time. Um, this first one came out in '86. Um, I want I watched a trailer for a version that actually came out, like, in August. Um... I think they said that there is 50 entries in this game's in, in this game's, like, history. Which, for a game that has last or that's been around for 32 years, is quite impressive. I think I was looking at a list of them, and they had... There's been a, f a Family Stadium game for every Nintendo console in Japan, with the exception of the Wii U. And maybe the Virtual Boy, but yes. Um, and yeah, outside of, say, RBI Baseball, there's also a version called uh, Super... Right. Um, Super Batter Up for the uh, SNES. That is based on one of the uh, Family Stadium games. Which, um, if you're familiar with Japanese, there is a kind of... I, wouldn't say, I don't know what to call it, but like a trend of... Calling games like a combination, like a shortening of their name, like uh, if you're familiar with Dragon Quest being referred to as Dracu or, Mon or Monster Hunter being referred to as Monhun, um, this game, or this franchise, is usually referred to as Famista, which is kind of the name that it actually took on uh, after a few of these were uh, released. They, uh, later entries for the uh, Famicom would just straight up be called Famista. Nope. Oh, that's gonna be... Nope, that's a... that's a ground. Okay. Also, another little bit of trivia is the little... the kind of the theme that this game uses that you heard kind of when the game was starting. Uh, it's apparently based on an American uh, camp song called I Met a Bear. So yeah, it's kind of been used as a theme for the franchise. So it's this one. Oh, you... Okay, and you can punt. Also, I forgot that I was batting. Come on, go on stance, go on stance, there we go. first uh, instance of a kind of a franchise uh, sports game because Madden wouldn't come out for oh come on oh yeah Madden's oh. not till like 89 I'm not even sure it's before 90 uh, okay what 
Though Madden is a, is a rebranded football simulator game. Like they've been making a football simulator game and then put Madden's name on it. Okay. I don't know what happened there because I could I came not 100 percent certain what the controls are to recall players or like to. Are you gonna catch that bird? Nope. Yeah, with this being an older any or baseball game, some of the it's a little there's a little bit of jank to it. Like, okay. It's gonna say I'm like, what are you doing? It's, um, so yeah, it's a full nine innings. Uh, later by sports franchise, you mean just one sport, right? Just one sport. Okay. So I think, like, yeah, Madden would, like, and I know it's man's a branded thing of something else, but, uh, I think, cause, like, I think this is one of the first, because, like, um, bases loaded, I don't think would come out for a while. Um, I'm trying to think of any other sports game or sports franchises. FIFA wouldn't come out for a while. Yeah, I mean, there's the there's the official ones, like because there's you know official NBA games. But yeah, this is pretty early because e even I think the football Madden Street Simulator is out before '88, and I think then it's only a PC release. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm sorry that, that wasn't... I thought that was the ground. Oh, you prick. Okay, good. I don't know, that's always something that did kind of bother me just a little bit. Is that, yeah, you, the players are a little... a little chuffy. I like the chunky look to the players, it's cute. Oh, wait. Whoops, I forgot that was bang. <laughs> yeah, this game has a very, very distinct style. Um, like, the box art... The box art for this game... Um, They've been using the same artist since this one. Like, the one that just recently came out to the Switch used the same box art. Like, it, the box art looks exactly like the box art for this, and also I keep on forgetting that I'm actually batting. Yeah, I like that the, the players in the field are really chunky, but they did put a lot of detail into the batter. I mean, how many frames of animation does the batter have? Looks like about six. Yeah. There we go. I at least get one. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the game looks very basic, but you can tell everything is. But it's got that charm to it. Yeah, especially, like, if you think of, like, the, um, the Black Box, uh, Nintendo sports stuff. Like, especially, I mean, just compared to this, uh, NES Baseball. They're very similar in terms of, like, I guess complexity. But, um, something about this one just feels a lot more smooth. Yeah, this really feels like it knows what it is. I mean, I'm comparing it... Uh, I'm an old person, so I'm comparing this like the Atari and the Intellivision efforts. And this looks way better, but then of course it's not better hardware. Yeah, and also, that's gotta be count as this ball. Yeah. Nope. Uh, let's see. I think we've seen enough, so I just wanted to show off one thing about this that is kind of a little bit different than... It's definitely not a thing in American baseball. Um, but... And I'm not even sure if it's a thing in Japanese baseball, it's just a lot of... A thing I've seen in a lot of Japanese baseball games. Uh, which is the concept of a mercy rule. 
Whereas if you finish an inning uh, where you are 10 points or 10 runs ahead of the um, opponent, you, the game will instantly end. Uh, well, I, could, I could see that being a video game. Yeah. Uh, also, there is a thing that I, because I was reading up, I'm like, okay, what exactly are the differences between American and Japanese baseball? They have a lot more, they are a lot, they have a lot more rules about how long a game is. Uh, for example, um, a game, uh, why am I hitting, let's see. A game can, uh, like, in the U.S. baseball, you cannot end a game in time. Someone must always come out ahead. Right. But, in Japanese baseball, I think there's a, I think it's a limit of 12 innings. And if no one's ahead by 12 innings, it's just a tie. Um, also, there is, um, and I think this was just a rule that was done recently in, as a result of one of the tsunamis. A, a baseball game can only last 3 hours and 30 minutes. So 3 hours and 30 minutes after the first pitch, the game ends. No matter what inning it is. If I get a home run, this will end this a lot sooner. Come on. Let's give it to me. Nope. There we go. That, nope. I'm not finding any evidence that there's a time limit to Japanese baseball games. Uh, uh it, it might, I know it was like a, as of like 2011, I think I saw, and maybe it was just that one season. Well, in 2011, there was a game that lasted five hours and 43 minutes. Huh. Okay, then maybe Wikipedia was lying to me. Come on. Oh, you prick. <laughs> We just done this. Nope. Nope. The oh. Japan Times reports that in 2013, there the time limit was repealed. Okay. So yeah, that might have been a yeah. And apparently, it was a three and a half hour limit, not on the game, but on the extra innings. Oh, okay. So you can still have a freaking five-hour game. Oh, let's see. Uh, they do have a 12-inning limit. Okay, it was 12... Yeah, because I remember the 12... 12-inning... Twel yeah, the 12-inning limit being a thing. Right. So it will end after 12 innings. But um, apparently, the three and a half hour limit for the extra innings um, is in effect. So yeah, so the game could result in a draw. Apparently, this game does not have a mercy rule. No, it, it does. It's got to it's it's be the it's got to be the end of the inning. Oh, like it? it they got it. Like it's not like oh, it's the first. Per if you get ten, it immediately stops once the inning ends. It is. Um. Okay. Well, so you do strike out then. Yeah, to strike out, they have to. So basically, I gotta quick just get up, get away. I just gotta strike them out. Out. And... there. 
Yeah, I could, I could easily see having a mercy rule in a home game because you're going to have like the older sibling beats the younger sibling and it's just totally trashing them and mm-hmm. the game should just, you know, end. Yep. Rather yeah. than drag that out. Yep. So, yeah, that's that. And basically, if you're playing two player or one player, you'll just keep on going. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, Pro Yaku Family Stadium. And also, I've been walk- looking at footage of the Switch version, or the Switch one that just came out, I think, in August. It, it just looks really good. Uh, also, they added some a really weird RPG mode that looks insane. But yes. That's a new thing. Like, some of the NBA games have, like, NBA Jam games have weird RPG modes. Like, story mode. Yeah. They so, have one directed and written by Spike Lee. God, then that one, apparently, I've heard, a, or I've heard someone talk about it, and it is A, not good, and B, just a thing. <laughs> so, um, I'm since this technically is more of a versus game, I'm putting it into the charisma list. Charisma baseball. Um, let's see. I would probably say I would probably put this. I would rather play Karate Champ above this, and I think I'd rather play this over Primal Rage. So I think in between Karate Champ and Primal Rage. So you'd rather play this than Primal Rage? Yes. I could see that. Also, I'm starting to think about how I'd actually go about and rank that because, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to do every single entry in that franchise because a lot of them are basically just roster updates. Uh, there, there are definitely entries in which they added like key components. Like I know that there is an edit team function in all in one of the Famistas. That's neat. And going into new consoles, they always change it up a little bit. So. If they have edit roster and CPU versus CPU, that's always fun. Yeah. Because then you which, just make ridiculously unbalanced teams and watch the computer go crazy. Which even this one, uh, this first one had watch mode. Neat. Which is nice. Or any, and we've taken a look at tell technically this isn't the first kind of sport, but I mean it's a first sport sport. Dodgeball doesn't count as like a sport sport. Um, I would say this is pretty dry. Or, yeah, it, it, it was reasonably bouncy, cute, but uh, also serious enough. Yeah. Um, sound. I mean, the main theme is there. Like it's, I, I would get sick of uh, I Found a Bear very yeah. quickly. So it's good, but it's also very basic and repetitive. Yeah, I would probably give it... A C? Yeah, I was kind of thinking C, because I think... Because the... it's, not, it's not terrible. It's very perfunctory. And I, I would not call that failing to live up the potential, because it is a baseball game, after all. It's I Found a Bear sounds sound. kind of baseball-y. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's definitely, it is very much a baseball-y kind of thing. Like a thing you would hear on the organ. But, yeah, um, yeah I mean, it is what it is. A uh, st- uh, style. I mean, the characters look de- good and, like, it looks as good as it needs to. Yeah, I mean, like, I was commenting that the, the little chunky players that run in the field, I, I think that this is an interesting to me balance between you know, low end game, but like you said, when you said atonal, the fact that they're a little chunky, they look serious when they run. They look cute, but they also look ah, rrr. I don't know. Yeah. So I think it's pre- I think it looks pretty good stylistically, and I think it's going to score well in age. Because oh yeah, that, so. eight. I mean, it's definitely the only thing. And this again, this will this will come in the field, but uh, style. Uh. How did you feel about the batting? The batting is always the curious thing because most people just don't understand it or don't know why they're not hitting the ball. Also, I, I'm just going to say for style, just to get style, I would say it's probably technically good looking, but 
I mean, also, I've sort of seen of later ones, like the home run animations. It, it is kind of what it needs to be. So I'm going to give it a B. Uh, feel. Because here's the thing. The batting is fine. I mean, if you're familiar with that old school kind of batting, it feels... Like, I never felt like, oh, why did that hit at that angle? Like, I could always see kind of why. The problem comes with the... When you are on defense and when it comes to catching the ball... Because it's not immediately apparent which one you're controlling. <laughs> also, I love you're... how you're dancing around. Lolo, the word is called fielding. I forgot what the term was. I know. Again, as uh, I say, I'm not super familiar with baseball. So, uh, so you, now you couldn't figure out how to switch which fielder you were manipulating. It you just picked someone and you were stuck the, with them. The thing is, it seems like you're controlling all of them at the same time. Because that was something that a lot of old... At least ones that I've played on the NES do. Right. It, it's not like... Uh, I'm trying to think of like, say something like an NBA Jam where you're controlling like one person or I'd probably, I'd probably, NBA Jam probably well, it, like that. But And if you go back earlier, like the earlier 8-bit entries like in television or Atari, you usually would hold down the button and, and you move the joystick and that would change who you were controlling. Like the, yeah. the new person would flicker. So it's just nothing to do with the ball, the button if you don't have the ball. Yeah, it, it's kind of a little confusing on who you're actually controlling. Uh, also... Sometimes they don't exactly have the best AI, so it just gets a little confusing at that point. They didn't seem terrible, but it there's not much to do. No, but it, there is a noticeable, like, okay, why did... And also, like, uh, that case where I... There was somewhere I... Um, there, I had a guy stuck at home, but I couldn't figure out how to get all my players to recall, so I ended up getting a double against me. Or whatever, the, getting two outs against me because I couldn't figure out what the controls were. But that could just be me not familiar with the game. But I would probably... But other than that, it felt fine. So I would probably just give it a, maybe a C. Okay. Uh, history. <laughs> this is one of Namco's biggest franchises. Yeah, it's Japan. definitely... I would say if it's continued to this very day, it's probably also day. also RBI Baseball when it came out over here was very popular. Um, they were still there. I think they were trying to make RBI Baseballs. Um, I think as of was it last year or the year before, but they were definitely trying to make that uh, a thing. And also RBI Baseball went on to be its own franchise that Namco didn't have anything to do with. It was Atari making uh, the games. Um, so yeah, I would probably say, oh, I keep on history, which one is, yeah, I would, I would probably give it an A. Also, I think in the little video that I saw that, um, they were saying like 150 million units of Famistar games were, have been sold for a franchise that's only been out in Japan. So it's a lot. Uh, age. I mean, I think it, I think it aged pretty well. You can still it, enjoy it. It does. It, yeah, definitely. You, you can definitely age. The thing is, again, I need to. There are just certain genres that this metric guide kind of kind of lets. It it just doesn't have any, so it's always going to be. If I were to follow the rules, it would just be an A. Um, but I would probably still say. That this would be safe. I, I just give it a B. Oh, it does have password safe. So there. Also, hello. Hi. Approach. Um. Kind of hard to put a difficulty on a baseball game. Because they're not particular. Like, they're competent. But it's not, like, super brutal. Well, so do your players have any effect on their performance on the field? Maybe. I think they do. Okay. But then again, that's just picking your team. So you can just pick the team that has the best. Although I don't know how much of a difference. I don't think it's a case of like a Bo Jackson kind of thing. Because... But I kind of want I kind of want to give it the X rating simply because it is kind of based on the difficulty of who you're kind of playing against because you're you figure this is kind of a game that you definitely want to play two players. 
that it's kind of based on who you're playing against. Yeah, the, the AI seemed decent. Yeah. And I don't think it ramps up in difficulty as you play more games. I think it's just, oh, the AI is the AI. So, yeah, I'm going to just give it an X based on if you're playing this two-player. So, yeah, uh, that was Pro Yaku Family Stadium, also known as RBI Baseball in the U.S. So, with that, we can move on to our next game. Oh, boy. So yeah, uh, this is also another franchise that didn't... This franchise definitely did not leave uh, Japan. Uh, and there is one very particular reason why, which we will get to uh, kind of... We'll get to it, but... And it's kind of a weird reason, but I might as well just go ahead and start. So... Let's start it, yeah. This game is... Logia Mind. It sure is. Wow, that sure is a map. Uh, so, this is a platformer in which you are playing as Wagon. He's a little dragon. And he attacks with sound. Uh, there is, there is very much a GameStar CX episode based on this game. So, I've never really seen something, or, like, it's not super apparent, but, um, I have the feeling that this game is kind of meant to be for younger kids. Because, one, it's generally easy, the things are kind of cute, and, uh, the way that boss battles work in this game kind of... kind of has that, not edutainment kind of thing, but, like, Oh, it's one of those things like, oh, it's kind of a fun thing, but there's actually some slight learning with it. Yeah, I also figured the, the relative simplicity of it all. Yeah. It doesn't it's prevent it from being, like, bad at all, because it still feels no. pretty good. No, it looks fine. It's just a very basic platformer. Uh, is not necessarily a bad thing. Well, it's noteworthy that you don't actually kill your enemies. That is also true. You just banish them from this realm of existence, yeah. Well, no, they just get stunned. Yeah, they, they get stunned. There. And you can use well, them as Like, it's freaking Commander Keen. Oh, okay. Couldn't quite tell. That is a sad-ass owl! Holy crap! Oh, except for when you're involved. Oh, that, okay, yeah, you're setting them to oblivion. Just setting right, them to but, the moon. But it's not, you know... You're not hitting them with hammers or crushing okay. them. Okay, so here's the reason why this stuff. thing probably never left Japan. Are the boss battles. Because... So this is a fan translation and they had to oh. kind of work with something. Uh, in the Japanese version, you're playing Shiri Tori. Yup. Oh, Jesus. So if you're not familiar with Shiri Tori, uh, it is a Japanese word game in which you... So if you think about uh, Japanese uh, words are based out of several syllables. Right. So you have the word... Basically what you're doing is you're taking the last syllable of the word and s chaining it to a word that has that as the first one. Oh, okay. Which is really hard to translate into... Oh, so why do I... Translate into English so you have to go with the... Uh, usually what? it's the last where, letter. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Uh, I'm just is is it the bear? Is that a koala bear? Oh, you... There's also the problem with the fan translation is that they're kind of not exactly sensical sometimes, but it's kind of what they have to work with. Yeah. Oh. Would E be you on the right? Yep. In the head horns. Eyeglasses. Oh, eyeglasses would have worked as well. Uh, S. Um, sock. Uh, also, there is, if you end on a certain character at Shiratori, it's it's over and you lose, but I forget what the character, like, what the, uh, the, the syllable is. Uh, and that is in this game, as well. Uh, if they pick it, it it's an automatic, uh, win, I believe. Stop giving us E! Uh... Oh. 
Is that thing at the upper uh, left second, uh, is that an eyedropper? Oh, damn it. Nope. What is the spiral? No. Spiral? I don't know what spiral is. Oh, you! Oh, it's Fucking the egg timer. What? All right. Okay, T. Um... We have a turtle in a tree. Yeah, turtle. So yeah. Also, this is one of those platformers, judged on the long plays that I've seen of this, that it is, you just get a boatload of lives. Mm. And yeah, Shiratori is typically like a word game for children. Uh... So is this a, a cartoon character? Uh, I don't believe so. He's just in this game, okay. It's just very cute. It is, this game's adorable. I think uh, the art style of this influenced some of um, the Game Center CX advanced game. Yeah, Max, it's like the kind of game you play in a car ride or like walking home with friends, then you got just want something to do. It's that sort of thing. I always remember it like in the US where it was nope. place names. Like you'd say like Albuquerque and someone else has to come up with the keyboard. Uh, I'm kind of curious. What is the. Because yeah, it's one to kill. Oh, you just go to sleep. Oh, wow. Oh, it's not. It's a... You start from the beginning. Yeah. That's kind of grody. I do know that there is a continue option, though. So, there's at least that. I don't think that this game would have limited continues. That, that wasn't really something that Namco did. Oh, God damn it. You have a big hitbox. Yeah. It's It's huge. I don't know, I kind of like this game, though. It, it is definitely a game that I kind of... If this came over here, I'm sure it would be pretty popular. Yeah, it's it's just... Oh god, the boss battles are a nightmare to translate. Well, the graphics are a little dated. Yeah, but and they're still... Oh, uh, I forgot. I want to say 88. Yeah. I don't know, I still say they get by on, like, just the cuteness of it all. Nothing else. I think there was a problem in, in the video game, in the US video game industry, that video games weren't supposed to be cute, they were supposed to be for boys. Yeah. And also, the, the, the relative simplicity of the style helped it age a bit better. Right, I mean, today we think it looks cute, but maybe back in, you know... Uh, I'd say part of the problem is, is, is marketers, yeah, and executives looking at this, like, mm. Oh, is this a matching game? Yep. Looks like a concentration. Yeah, it looks like concentration. Oh. I love special card. Ice Queen. More of a kind of that ice thing. It's shaved ice. Oh. Yep. 
Okay, now that... Um, now that I've... Yep, now that I've gotten above that, I will win. boss fights, it just always reminds me of Yonoid, because Yonoid had kind of a similar thing. to hold it down. Also, you do have a lot of air control, which is nice. That's a lot of air control. Oh. Yeah, that's how they get ya. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, you can slide backwards. Okay. Once the enemies are stunned, they can still still kill you. No, it's uh, no, it's just, uh. Uh, some this momentum is not uh, is not great. Uh. Also, you can only have one thing on the screen at a time, which. Well, you are taking the hard mode path. Yeah. I mean, they, they did make it clear there's an easy path. I can imagine I need this group. Oh, okay, so there is a midway checkpoint. That's bait. Okay, so I just got back. Why are we just fucking around on Big League Chew? I don't know. I know it's... Just the shitty bubblegum strips. I hate them. That's when you take the high route when you're invincible. Yeah, when you get invincible, then you get for all the points. Um, I, I'm sorry? Oh, she's on the cover art. Yep. Lady, what is your everything? Ah, uh, more Shiratori. That is shaved ice, that is not ice cream. Um... I'm 
missing. It's not music. Okay, it's not a musical instrument. Measuring spoon. The top be horn? Yeah, horn. Yep. Also, by the way, I looked up um when I was looking up this franchise. Apparently there are like three Squid mobile games. Lower right. There are like three mobile games that are just this. Oh god. Yeah. It, it, that sounds like fun. a good time waster. Yeah, this is something that I would play on. This is a good mobile game. Like, you're on the commute and you want to fuck around. Like, just want something mindless. This? Uh, uh F no. for Foon. Oh, right. Fire. What? Squirrel. Do these have multiple interpretations? So they... That's one thing they added in this fan translation, is sometimes there are multiple uh, answers. Interesting. What is the lower right tree? Lower right tree? Lower left, it's a bonsai tree. Lower left of it. Oh, it's a bonsai, okay. Uh... Hey, pick the horse, I want to see if the horse works. Yeah, if that coin works. Yeah. No. no. Okay, that'd be too silly. Nope. 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 Ask me something that works or they kick you out. Nope. Wait, uh... Top the, the the telescope would that be like? Oh. What the hell is it? Whatever you do, don't do this systematically. Make sure you pick everything at random. Oh, yeah. elbow. It's elbow. Oh. Second oh, row, last oh, column. Oh, right. Water char. Or. I could see the speed di diverting us, hold on. Will the horse work because it's running? No. Think it too hard. Is the, um, boar a razorback? Nope. Nope. No, it's not Rising Sun. Is that a runcible spoon? That is not a racket! Oh. It's a racket! It's Just a racket! Like game. Three. E is next. Um. Stop it with the E! What is the nail again? What? Oh, you. <clears throat> Aha! No, that makes no sense. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just do the thing where, like, I kind of was tempted to just play the Japanese version to see if I could actually do that better than this. Yeah, if you could figure the fucking characters, yeah, good luck with that, champ. Figure how good is my Japanese. Okay, also, I think that's probably... The answer probably... is probably not good enough to do Shiratori. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably God. a good, good spot. Japan loves it some more games. Um, so yeah. Dragon Lens, it's a pretty neat game. It's a neat game, but the boss battles translate very poorly, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, and that's, I would probably put that more of a shame thing than a a natural detriment. Yeah, no, it's it's neat. It's a neat boss fight. It's just... Well, it's, it's the what, language what barrier. Yeah, it's, it's the language barrier problem. 
Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking that I'd probably rather play, I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking above Dig Dug and below X Kid. Yeah, no, really, if I had to import that, I would just take the concentration game and hack that so that was the end for all of them. And I wouldn't have to worry about it. But even then, I can see why this wasn't imported. I think it was, what, an 88 release? Uh, actually, I could probably look that up now. I mean, Shiratori works just fine in English. It's just the ones we had were very dodgy. Uh, that was 89. Yeah, that's that's a little late. For uh, I, I, and also I'm always talking about Kirby Angry Eyes, where video games are for boys and they have to. You can't have cute in the U.S. They have to. Look, grr, grr. Kirby's got to be angry and serious. Also, yeah, I feel like part of the problem too is like graphical limitations. Yeah, yeah. definitely graphical. Limit. Like like you guys are yelling at the graphics for not looking right. I, yeah, I, I mean, also for Shiratori was like like the bigger problem. Was... Uh, that, yeah, and that's just... I, yeah. I am going to go ahead and say that that's probably on the fan translator doing what he po they possibly could. Because... Yeah, no, no, no. He was, he was fucking reaching, and I respect that. Like, that that would be a nightmare to translate and keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Like, I respect the lengths they went to, because that is a nightmare. Also, the 17.5 sound good? Yeah, Between sounds about right. Yeah, sounds about right. It's a neat game. I, 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 I dig it. Oh, and yeah, I could definitely see using the Shiratori to, to teach uh, language and whatnot. Yeah, which kind of really... I... They never, I've never really heard it explicitly said that this is a game for young kids, but... It, it definitely has that vibe. Yeah. Cute. Uh, it's gotta be yeah, cute. Yeah, it's gotta be cute. Uh, Sam. That wasn't bad. I, yeah, it was, it was, it was cute. okay. Yeah. I was thinking either... like a C. No, I was thinking C or B. I can probably see C. I mean, it wasn't particularly notable or anything, but it was all right. Uh, style. Uh, this game really, it, it definitely has a style to it. And I think it, it looks really charming. Yeah, I'd say like a B. Yeah, B sounds good. It's very cute. Uh, feel. It... Are we going to take the Shiratori into account for feel? I kind of just want to throw my hands up in the air for that one. Just say, there's nothing really, like... I don't want to ding it because it wasn't no, it, meant it, for me, but... Yeah, it plays fine, but it translates like dog shit. Yeah, and if if I were to say play that as a version, as a way, if, like, I have tried to learn Japanese in the past, and that would be a really good way of kind of doing that. So, I think what it's yeah. trying to do is really well. It's just a very... If you are not trying to specifically learn Japanese, then you're kind of hosed. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's a shame, but it's not much can be done about it. and It kind of sucks. Yeah, and the the with that aside, uh, the platforming I would also say is it's good platforming. Like you have yeah, incredible air control. The only thing I would uh, ding it for is your hitbox is huge. Yeah, the yeah. hitbox seems to be the full rectangle rather than I was gonna say it might even be a little bit small, uh, bigger. Yeah, it looks pretty large. But other than that, that's definitely doable. Um, I would probably say B. Um, history. Um, it from what, and this is always hard to gauge because obviously none of us live in Japan. Uh, but from what I've seen, this game, this franchise did seem to be quite a bit popular. Um. Although, whether or not I would say that it is, let's see, important to company lore, I probably wouldn't say that because considering how reference-happy Namco tends to be, you rarely see Wagon. Yeah, they never of, talk about him. Outside of the games that came out during the era. Yeah, so D? I was, and I was thinking D because this definitely did come out I mean, it has been fan translated. I know for a fact it was available on a virtual console. 
so deep. Uh, age. Um, I think I have something about hitbox. Yeah. I would probably give, like, that hitbox might throw some people off, so I would probably give it a D for that. Uh, in ap approach, I would probably, I'm kind of thinking B, solely because of the fact that it does seem to be aimed for kids. Yeah. And outside the hitbox thing, it did seem pretty easy. So there. Oh, yeah. And uh, once again, the only real difficulty was the language barrier, and that couldn't really be helped. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that was Wagonland. Um, so this next game, uh, this is actually a game that I was planning on having half, like a good majority of the episode be taking a look at. Because it is a pretty interesting game because it is the first game in a franchise that technically all the games that came out after it, and by all of them I mean probably about the two or three, are a completely different style of game. Uh, also, uh, and then I actually tried to play it, and I'm like, I don't know how much of this A, I can take, B, I could... <laughs> I'll just start it up. Just show it, just show it, yeah. Oh, yeah. This game is Valkyrie's Adventure: Legend of the Time Key. Um, uh, okay. So, yeah, the Valkyrie franchise. Um, most people are probably familiar with the arcade game that is a sequel to this. Uh, the that much plays better the, sequel. That plays absolutely nothing like this. And this is this, yeah. this is a really good attract screen to show off kind of the game because. Yeah, let's just start. Yeah, no, the arcade game is so much better. Uh, so the first off, you have a choice. Let's of... be Sagittarius. Okay. So what this actually does? This does actually have gameplay Im implications because I... it does. It oh. De uh, this actually determines your EXP curve and some of your attack and health stats. That's really stupid. Yeah. Also, the color doesn't matter. Let's be like, pink. Okay. Pink's a so, good, powerful color. So, yeah, so when we start out, we have our sword, and technically we also have... Uh, actually, oh, we don't start out with any magic. That's great. Uh, Iggy, I was going to say it reminds me more of Dragon Slayer. Uh, kind of. So, just to kind of put a timeline of what this kind of explains what this game kind of is, it came out 86. So, Zelda came out early in the year. And I think Dragon Quest came out in 80, uh, like in that April. So this seems to be kind of a mix because this is a much more stat-heavy game than Zelda was. Uh, it kind of feels like they were trying to, in a short amount of time, kind of do a blend of the two styles. So kind of the plot of this game also... So yeah, we start out with 64 and... Remember your mantra. Yeah, also this game has pretty long passwords. Also, was that- Wow, 900? it has two-way scrolling, too. Is that 900? Oh god, and also our EXP curve is really high. I'm sorry. Yeah, because also, I mean, granted, there, there is nothing that explains that, either. The only thing I've ex seen that is that there, someone made like a a um, thing for FCE Ultra that let that basically showed, hey, this is what your starting stats would be. That's about it. So Sagittarius is just straight up, straight up fucking you over. Unless, unless it's one of those things where it starts out really weak and then grows. Also, we have an inventory limit. We have eight slots. Sounds about right. Also, this overworld theme just, like, reminds me of some low-rent Zelda. Yeah. Especially considering how good the theme is for this sequel. I also, think it's neat a... that you beat up cavemen. Also, there is a day-night cycle. Neat. That's kind of rad. I mean, does it serve a purpose, or... I oh, believe... it does! Holy shit! Oh, uh, no, that that's a default monster. Or that, that that's a set encounter. But yeah, I don't know, this this game seems interesting, but I, I could not play this. Yeah, that's the thing. Also, uh, one thing we're going to hear shortly, um, 
Do you know how? Uh, also, we have a shield. It does not do anything. Also. Oh, no. This game has the worst low health beep that I have seen or heard in a game. God, it's, it's like frustrating watching this knowing how much better the sequel is. Oh. What did that do? Cookie, cookie. So we got a ship now. Cookie, cookie. Oh, good, and these are the worst enemies ever. Because they have a projectile that you can't do anything about. The cavemen have upped their game. The only thing you can do is force them to despawn. Also, contact is not what hits you. They will, they will just randomly hit you. Uh, also, the plot for this game, just to kind of show what it is. Uh, basically, you're the Valkyrie, who basically is serving as the kind of protector of Marvel Land. Uh, Marvel Land was one of those, it was a utopia where people were at peace, people were actually immortal. And um, the evil sorcerer, sorcerer, sorceress uh, Zona has come and stolen the time cube, which has made everyone... Wizard. Which basically has everyone turned everyone mortal, and we are trying to get the time key back. I don't know, this wizard sounds pretty good to me. Fuck immortals. But yeah, also... God, this... this the sword feels really weird, because it's one of those things where you have to really keep in... Tr keep, keep it, like... You have to, um... Like, it's very uh, deliberate. Uh, it's very deliberate. Also, it, it's very heavy, or dependent on what side you were actually attacking, because you see how it's kind of to the left? It's one of those. Oh, God. Just once again, it's just so strange seeing this game having, like, played the sequel. Like, I just, I can't get over that, watching this. Cause that's the thing I also, yeah, cause that's the thing that I was seeing, I'm like, God, this game sucks. This game sucks a lot, which is a shame, cause the sequel's actually pretty alright. Cause yeah, also, cause here's the thing, we have to kill this thing. Also, by the way, while it's doing, ads will spawn. That you can't really do anything about. They're not really ads, it's just the random encounters. Or yeah. So like, that's, let's be real, that's what they are. Yeah, it's, it's them. Okay, there we go. Also, since we have now killed that thing, we can now do this. Finally. What the fuck are those weird crocodiles? I don't know, but we are now a boat. Okay, but let's go on that island. I like that island. It speaks to me. Which, by the way, when you are on the boat, you have no method of attacking. God, the boat looks terrible in motion. It doesn't even change direction. Nope. No, it just translates the sprite forever. Oh. So, is this game unique to the NES, or is yes. this game a... Uh, so, it's not a PC conversion game? No. Interesting. Uh, there was apparently meant to be... There is going to be a sequel to this game in particular developed for the MSX, but it, no, it never happened. Yep, maybe that's for the best. Because the MSX also sucks. Especially, could you imagine playing a game like this on MSX? God, it, it, it would look even worse, which would be... Also, the scrolling, holy shit. Yeah, I mean, the first thing I was thinking of is how the Krimi Hack would you handle two-way scrolling on MSX. Oh, God, it'd probably be like, uh, you move through screens. Yeah, that seems very much a flip screen kind of thing, also. Oh, also. We, we, we got a helmet. Wow, that helmet looks amazing. Oh, that's the end of the end of the world. Oh, there's just an invisible wall. I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey. 
Also, yeah, as you probably expect, your hitbox is in the entirety of your sprite. Oh, also, there's the other edge. <laughs> I like that we have now tried to figure out where we can actually bring our boat in. Oh my god. What do we need the boat for, then? I think, I think we have to go over here. Uh, so also, there are two things that are kind of... I think I have about five more minutes of this that I can probably tolerate. Um, you gotta be kidding me. Um, there are two things in this game that definitely carry over to the sequel. Uh, one is your the player two character in the sequel is actually an enemy that you fight in this game. There's one particular one that is guarding a pyramid, and you can do something to bring it on your side, and it actually becomes an item in your inventory. Neat. To do something heinous. Forgot exactly what purpose. Also, there is an to enemy type. There is an enemy type called the Zool uh, that actually serves as the shopkeeper in the sequel. Uh, they basically, in this game, they act as thieves. I appreciate you using time wizardry. Oh, good. Wow, what a worth it. Oh, wait, it's multi-use? Yep. That's weird. Yeah, I don't have any magic. Like, there's oh, a good. lot of design to- Ooh, two houses. Also, we can level up now. Which is great, because this is one of those games where you can only level up when you get into the house. Also, what's great is that you're stuck in bed while this is going on, and it doesn't heal you first, so you will get the beeping until that thing stops. Can you level up again? Uh... No, because the next level is 3500. Uh, oh, shot. Oh, oh God, actually, yeah, because it's one of these things. This is Andra. Um, so let's... Is that a better sword? Yes. We don't have anywhere near anything. Wow, we're poor as shit! This game gives you nothing. Holy crap. Oh, also, there's another one of those things. So we... So we get all these keys, but nothing really to do with them. Yeah, like, they're not for chests. Well, they're for chests, but they don't oh, go they? away. Let's go... I the potion didn't go away when you used it to. Oh. Ah, finally, we're in a dungeon. You're in a dungeon. Oh boy, uh, fi good five gold for that. Oh god, you get like piss off. I like the shitty drawing of a Pegasus. Oh! Oh! oh. Hmm. Use your potion. Wait, you can still use it? Yeah, I guess it has... How many uses does this thing have? Okay, four. What? Oh my god. This is obnoxious. Um, also I just noticed something. At least I think I noticed something. Is it, is it music? Kind of, because it ties into something. Um, I think it might be poisoned. Yes, I, that thing did poison me. Stop getting poisoned! Stop sucking!
Oh wow, those are worth a shitload of experience. Oh yeah, because those are worth 100. That boy's worth 300. 300. Yeah. Oh, that's these are worth a lot too. Oh wow. That, that, yeah. Holy shit, you're gonna level up and get out of here. So these oh. fire boys are best avoided. Oh. Just just head back to camp. Well, here's the problem. Where the I fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> head south to the right. Did it take me to the other island again? Yeah, I'm wondering which continent you're on. I feel like you should just avoid the wizard boys. This- it did take me to the other island! Knew it! Now the bright side, you're level 3. Wow, what the fuck is this curve? Bad, is what it is. Which, I think at that point, I think we have seen this game now. <laughs> oh god, this game is rough. Oh yeah, that- that was a roughin'. Um... Yeah, yeah that's no, it, it, <laughs> that game is why I had to specifically change the games that I was looking at this episode. <laughs> um, yeah, that definitely belongs to the adventure category. Also, I really need to stop taking a look at bad adventure games. I mean, because eh. I mean, it's going. But there is one spot I think I'd feel is safe for this. It's going in between the Guardian Legend and Deadly Towers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're gonna get those. It was early, it was rough. It doesn't look that terrible uh, on the day. The problem is, is playing it. It's yeah, it's an early, like, action-adventure game. It It's rough. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error. And yeah. Pretty much. That was before, like, there were any sort of norms or what have yep. you. Just throwing shit at a wall to see what's stuck. Well, and make sure it lasts at least, you know, five hours. People are going to want their nickel back. Pretty much. Yeah. Also, it is an incredibly early adventure game, too. Um, oh, yeah. Dragon Slayer came out before this. Yep. Came out well before this, actually. Where is... Oh, Dragon Slayer... Is 84. It's 84, and also we put it in that list, because I'm like, where's Dragon Slayer? Because I know we ranked it. Um, yeah. Um, NES game. It's definitely an action, it's very much an action RPG. Mm -hmm. and actually, that, uh, even the original release of these, that predates it. Yep. So yeah, it is just incredibly old. Um, I would probably call it Atonal. What year was this again? 86. Okay. I think East 1 was 87. Uh, yep. And 2 was 88. Alright. Uh, sound. It's kind of interesting seeing, like, this short period of time where they were starting to try to figure out this genre. Yeah. Yeah, because I would imagine that that game probably was developed, like, relatively quickly. Um... Sound. Oh, 100% quick turnaround. Yeah, uh, it's not getting above a D. I mean, like, the music was fine, it was just the low health noise was abysmal. Uh, I have played Bokusuka Wars. Uh, god, yeah, that's another questionable game. Uh, god, it's just, once again, it's, it's just so weird seeing this, having seen the sequel first. Which also, just to, as a point of comparison, just so it's that we're not just making this... Well, I, I don't think we'd make this up, but just as a point of comparison, where the hell is FUBAR? Did I close out of FUBAR? 
Um, so yeah, just to kind of point out when we're talking about it's surprising seeing here in, like hearing the soundtrack, this is the main theme from the sequel. Granted, it is also an arcade game, which kind of benefits it mechanically, but yeah. Yeah. The theme to Le the Legend of Valkyrie is so good. It's very good. Yeah. Um. Style. Uh, things kind of look like things. Uh, also, like that a low rent Zelda. Yeah. It is yeah. straight up like a low rent Zelda. I would say it's C or D. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to put C. Things look how they're supposed to, and that's what really matters. A uh, feel is... Mm, oh, it's dog In shit. between the really, really weird uh, Scorpio thing and Blood type thing. Uh, also, the, the dodgy combat. The dodgy combat, the, do the thing that things just look really obtuse. I would put, I would. Yeah, no, it's. I would say E. I'd say D. Yeah. Because I don't think it's simplistic. I just think it doesn't feel good. Uh, history. Um, they do reference the Valkyrie quite a bit, though. They love the Valkyrie, yeah. Uh, it is one of the things, if it, if. I think Cassand I forgot which one of the Greek sisters had it uh, in Soul Calibur, but I know that there is definitely a um, uh, outfit. One of I one of them. Fedia, but yeah, yeah. One of them. One of them gets keys. The I because yeah, like Sophia you know, gets definitely the Cassandra. Crystal Rod, and yeah, yeah I think Cassandra, Cassandra gets the Valkyrie. Because she has a sword and board, yeah. Um. So I would probably yeah, but is that just a generic Valkyrie outfit, or is that this Valkyrie? No, it is very specifically the the Valkyrie that's on the box art. Okay, the the Valkyrie is is very much uh, a sort of mascot character for them at this point. Okay. Um, age. not one of the bigger ones, but definitely. Oh, Awful. age. Yeah, I think I. Um. Oh God, isn't there one that's. Lack of, no, it doesn't have lack of saving. It does have an incredibly long password. Also, your hitbox is huge. Also, I forgot what the continue system it is. Is it? it yeah. Anyway, I, I, I would I would almost argue force damage after a point, because like, you were... Yeah, actually, were... those some of those enemies are really hard to dodge, so I would almost say that that is force damage. You, you were time wizarding like a motherfucker. Yeah, an approach. Uh, at would, D at the very least. I would say it is difficult. I would also say it's a two. So it I would is say it bullshit. is both. So I'd say it is getting the F. Yeah, it didn't look like you had any NPCs to meet to talk to or any in-game clues. So it looked like that all had to be X party. Uh, there was the single merchant. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, also. Do we want to put this in total trash, or are we just gonna leave it at low quality? I would, I would put it in total trash. See, I would be more generous than that. I didn't think it was total trash. Hmm. Um, I, I, you I, know you I, need some oranges. Yeah, so I, you do, see the, I do need some um, oranges. Also, actually, no, no, I could say oranges keep it as like the gatekeeper to the reds at the moment. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I think it it that is a good gatekeeper game. Yeah, I mean, uh, like games like Delty Tower, sorry, Delty, Deadly, Deadly Towers have confusing room layout and a lot of um, just a lot of cheap bullshit. Yeah, no, this like, is just super just rough. And die. Whereas this game, yeah, I would agree. This game looks super rough, but you could see elements of a better game in it. Uh, there was someone and, running the shop. It was a little uh, green dude, which I forgot what the uh, was. 
or what not Deshaun, or what the uh, character's name, the species name was, but they do have a name. So yeah, uh, that was uh, Legend of Valkyrie. Um, so yeah, uh, next thing I'm taking a look at. So basically, we're going to kind of divert because all the games that we're taking a look at from here on out are games that have had. I mean, we've taken a look at their predecessor before. Uh, these are just very distinct uh, console exclusive looks. Uh, it just to kind of, let's see. Yeah, just to kind of get something completely different. Uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look at this game? This is Mapuland. Yay, Mapuland! Oh, God. So, Mapuland. Uh, it is, as you could probably expect, it's a sequel to Mappy. Uh, it plays relatively similar, but there are some changes that have been made. Uh, also, by the way, just to point out, um, this screen right here is exclusive to the U.S. version. Also, you can do a stage select all the way to the end of the game, practically. Oh, neat. That's not unusual. Well, let's just start on 1-1. One, one. So, yeah. Man. It's Mappy. Also, you can jump. God, this fucking music. So, uh, in the first game, the goal was to um, get all the stolen stuff from the level. Uh, in this one, you were trying to get a particular item because the over the overarching kind of reason that you're doing what you're doing is you are trying to impress you. Uh, in so each there's four kind of acts in this game. Uh, each act is basically you trying to either impress either your girlfriend or your wife or your son. So it's kind my of like a... Or my wife. Yeah. Well... I can't believe Mappy has a mistress. Well, it's more of the fact that one of the... So, like, at this level, you are trying to get her a birthday present, which just happens to be cheese. Uh, in the second act, you are trying to get her an engagement ring. Uh, and in the third act, you are trying to get Christmas trees to have a Christmas party. And in the fourth one, you are trying to get a baseball for yourself. Yeah, no, like, as Tyrion said, it's great, because the first game was you doing your goddamn job. Also, for some reason, there is a time travel kind of thing. Also, the... Goro looks different, or the Yamko, or whatever you're gonna call it, looks different and is appropriate to each role, which I kind of think is neat. That's a really good touch, yeah. Also, also I, I still say I haven't shown off, so you see a little thing that's underneath that MP. Uh, those are sub weapons, or not sub weapons, oh god. Uh, uh, sub items that we have. So. I like it. Oh, right. So it, it does it in the order of whatever you have right to left. For right now, we would put down a coin, which really only affects the... Also, can I... Oh, okay, okay. I gotta see what that looks like. I still say the best thing, Mappy, though, is for also, that, that short-lived animated series. It distracts the Yamko. Neat. Also, there's a time limit. Also, I believe that this game is programmed by a company called Toze. So here's what the little tail thing does. Oh, I miss the cheese. Oh, does he do a little... I was gonna say, does he do the little Maneki Neko thing? 
looks like he kind of does that a little bit. Also, by the way, so you see how there is a trampoline kind of in the middle of the thing right there? Uh, if you break a trampoline, no matter where you land, it is automatic death. Also, by the way, did you think that map would be improved by platforming? No. You'd be correct. Oh, also... Ah, that's just cheating. Also, so there is kind of fall damage, but it's only if you are... or fall off of something that is not a trampoline. Man, I'm still kind of sad that Mappy Cartoon died a quiet death. Yeah, that was really good. Also, you want to see something that looks totally not like garbage? Uh, um... Okay. like some sort of glutton, because holy shit, this is a lot of cheese. There's cheese slices. They're big cheese slices! They're also the size now, of Mappy! We're in a ghost town. Ah, uh, we're getting keys. Because Mappy dropped his. We need to get home. Also, you missed one at the very beginning. Okay. Go in the church because we need to get across. Ah, uh, we need to find Jesus. Oh, it's it's going. We have to go to the right. This also, the oh, also. What? Just a little Easter egg. Also, if we did not have so, the cross, the Dracula will not help let us pass. Just turns away. No, it should have been like like a bag of rice or, or beans or seeds, and just have the Dracula count. Which is actually surprising, considering how, like, much Nintendo of America did not like that, the whole religious references thing. Yeah, especially because that entire graveyard was full of crosses. Okay, so I think this is the last level in the... Also, by the way, in the different in the different acts, uh, they all repeat. Uh, there are some slight differences, but they mostly repeat. Just the same items placed differently. Yep. Let's fucking murder them. Hold them over. Also, the problem with the way that the assault weapon things work is the fact that uh, it's entirely determined on the order that you pick them up. And also, a lot of them only work on one particular type of enemy. Oh, extra life. 
Also, so now we go to the center. Now here's a time. The thing is, this this little section's time. Because we gotta get there. We gotta get the last bit of cheese. Fast enough that Mapiko is not mad at us. Here is a gift, he says, pulling slightly melted cheese out of his pockets. Yep. Why do we need to get so many rings for her? I don't know. Mappy, your girl is high maintenance. Holy shit. Mappy, I, I got something to tell you, buddy. Just rings for- multiple rings for every finger in hope. But yeah, actually... So yeah, that is essentially what- it, it's the same loop four times. But, just to show it off, because there is one little neat little thing. Go back one here. One little go, neat little. Go to stage two... five, I think? Yes. Go on. Uh, it's not gonna be in this stage, it's gonna be in the next stage. Also, I do believe the enemies get faster. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, okay, so if you bounce onto a trampoline, it, will, it won't it will hurt, kill you. Also, I'm pretty sure you can- oh, that might be What? What was that? Some sweet bag. Catnip? You wanna get high? Oh, if you do get the Easter egg there, it kills all the ghosts. Yeah, because it's daytime. So what are you trying to show us? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck off. You are- this is the worst. I hate it. Absolutely this crap. There. Oh! Also, this is different. Wow, yeah, what? What did I need the horn for? Use your attack. What do you not need a horn for? Where are you? I think this is supposed to be like London or something? Or like a city? Yeah, it's just this level is completely different, I think. Maybe. Maybe I'm just completely forgetting this no, level. No, I, I, that first part was definitely different. Oh, damn it. I think that kitty cat stuck. You want to get high, I yell at these cats. And hey, going through the arch. Castle. I always love that going through the arch at the end. It's like this little unifying theme at the end. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm good. totally envisioning the way that Mappy is running, he is totally doing a Naruto run. Just the, the fucking Naruto trundle, yeah. 
the Naruto run's not unique to Naruto. Oh, yeah, it, 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 I know, but still. Yeah, this is the Ninja Trundle. The anime run. Yeah, the goofy anime run. It's, it's I don't know if that is, is worse or better than the girl run in anime. That I absolutely despise. What, the Pigeon oh. Toad? Uh. What? Yeah, if you're late. Yeah, it's, it's basically a run where they, they, they keep their arms close to their body, hands up, and then just twist their fucking torso a lot as they run poorly. Yeah, it's because they've got they've got the elbows close to the body and they keep the knees locked together, so that gives them the weird pigeon toe run. Oh, oh there it's we go. Terrible. Um it is. It's bigly sexist. So there are also no, Nobody runs like that. Literally oh, no nobody runs like that. Also Christmas trees. Uh, I think I think that, that's I think good. As much this game as I can handle, yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, that definitely belongs in the attack category. So yeah, um, Macky Land. I would rather play the original, but I don't think it's that bad because I remember hearing a lot of bad things about Macky Land. Macky Land's pretty all right. Yeah, it's confusing. It's a bit repetitive too, yeah, but it, it's it's all right. Yeah, it takes a it takes the formula of the original and kind of adds something that kind of works. Yeah, it tries to expand upon it in in a meaningful way, and it it, it definitely shows, but it's not perfect. Like it, yeah. it's definitely a, a bit rough. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking that I'm kind of thinking hmm, I'm kind of thinking maybe above Ma or above Flicky and, and below Tiny Toons. Or did you yeah, have any Or did you have any thing that you were thinking? Above Tiny Toons but below Pacland. That works. <laughs> really? I, I thought Tiny Toons was a bit more coherent of a game. And and not as repetitive. Plus, as, as good as Mappy looks, I think Mappy does look a little uh, dated. It looks a little dated, yeah, but it, from a gameplay perspective, I think. Well, actually, yeah, I think actually in between Tiny Toons and Flicky is probably a good yeah, spot. Sounds fun to me. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mappy Land. I believe that was 1988. Also, it's great because there are several other sequels. Well, I say several. There is definitely other sequels to um, Mappy, except they all seem to be games that are not in the style of the original Mappy. I can do. That's Really? That's... I've only seen like Mappy and Mappy. Uh, that's because they're either Japanese only or incredibly obscure. And, by, and actually, it's both. <laughs> because the ones that I'm thinking of are both Japanese only. One is arcade. One is also on the NES. Also, one of them is definitely not good. In the maze. Just one? Uh, Mappy Kids is okay. I'm, I'm sorry? Yeah, Mappy Kids. It's a game in which you're, you are playing as Mappy's son, which is, oddly enough, not the son that's portrayed in this game. Who has arranged a marriage for you? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I would probably give this tone probably, probably whimsical. You're whimsical. Okay. Um. Yeah. A uh, sound. Music was a pretty was decent. Very catchy. Yeah, it was pretty all right. Uh, probably B. Uh, style. Uh, <laughs> there was a little bit of a graphical uh, 
downgrade, let's just say. Yeah. Well, not terrible, but I would definitely say C. If they're going for something, it's just maybe they could have had a little better graphics. Um, feel. Hmm. Give it a B, which I'd actually still say. I'd probably say there's something about the... You feel it feels a little bit more claustrophobic in this one because there's only four or like four, three or four lanes, so to speak, yeah. uh, compared to like eight of the original. Not only that, there's also the clutter of the background. That too. Um, I would probably give it maybe. Oh, probably actually give it a B. Uh, history. I don't think this game got released on Virtual Console. It's in some of the Namco museums, isn't it? Uh, that's the original Mappy, not Mappy Land. Interesting, okay. Um, I'd probably I was released on the Wii U Virtual Console in 2015. Okay, then it's going to see. Um, age. Um... It basically, I mean, it gives, there is no saving. It just gives you access to practically every level. Every odd level, I should say. So, I would definitely say that that is a good thing. And so they're really, they, I mean, if you're on like, an, if you're on like 4.8 and you die, you can't really start back at 4.8. You have to go back to 4.7, but still. For the time, that's definitely not bad. Um, also, technically, it gets the B because the trampoline thing might get a little weird. And you can I'm, come, some of those mechanics are a little weird. Uh, so yeah, I give it a B or age. Uh, An approach, I'd say, kind of balanced. So, yeah, uh, that is Mapuland. Okay, there we go. Okay, so next game. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and load it up because I really don't have a whole lot to really say about this one other than, yeah, this is a thing. This is Dragon Buster 2. Um, I forgot what the subtitle is. Subtitle basically means Seal of Darkness. Uh, so if you don't remember what Dragon Buster is, it's a game, it was on Namco Museum Volume 2. It's like this really weird side-scroller kind of monster fighting game that takes place in, like, in increasingly complex dungeons. That they would have an overworld that you eventually fought a dragon at the end. Story checks out. Love to bust dragons, because busting makes me feel good. Clovis and yes. Celia being the prince and per or like the main character and the princess from the original game. Well, alleged. They're in quotes. Yeah. When Clovis and Celia were not born. I too enjoy roping around with a massive lair. Also, you had Clovis, Claire, uh, Celia, and Carl. Carl. Yes, I use his car dirty. His name is Carl. No, now I really like the idea of Aquitaine Hunger Force Carl just in ill fitting armor and a sword bitching the entire time. There's Carl. There's Carl! Okay, let's uh, go and start. Carl. He is little but expert. He's going on an adventure with you! Okay, so kind of like Dragon Buster, you are, there is an overworld. So, let's just go to this tree. Which we had select to go into. So yeah, rather than being a side scroller, it's this kind of isometric game. Oh neat. Ooh, fog of war. And it does have fog of war. Oh my god, this is the in this is the Intellivision Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game. 
That kind of. It reminds me of something, but I'm struggling to remember the name. Uh, it is. It, not only are you a little expert archer, and the place is made of tanned uh, room tiles, but your arrows bounce off the walls. You know, that actually, now that I think about it, that kind of does make sense considering they also made a game that was basically just straight up Star Raiders. Well, if you're going to rip a game off and update it, you could do worse than um, oh. in, in television. Oh, okay. Let's see. Also, we get Tomahawk. Your oh. walking noise is adorable. Oh, I have to find the key first. When was this 2 released? This one? Yeah. I'm There's your key. Okay. So, is there no leveling up in this game? Nope. So there's no point in grinding then? Nope. Why are they dinosaurs? Uh, they were from. The, there were dinosaurs in the first game. Well, yeah, but it's just like out of all the things. I think they're be supposed killing. to be like. I think they're supposed to be dragons. Yeah, but they look like dinosaurs. I mean, yeah, they're just wingless dragons. They, they, they're so sad when they die. Their head falls down. They know. Or I maybe don't this, like may this game. Or maybe this game just follows the Monster Hunter uh, school of naming dragons. In which anything is a dragon. Anything huge is a dragon. Brute wyvern, fanged wyvern. The wolf that totally is somehow a dragon. The pickle that is somehow a dragon. Yeah, I mean, dragons don't need wings, motherfucker, and they don't need to breathe fire. <laughs> Gotta love that RNG. I don't know why, but it, this made me think of Brandish. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of a different game. Oh. Just a bit. So yeah, now Those my arrows will do... special fire arrows or something? Yep, now my arrows will do twice as much damage. Man, the, the walking is kind of monotonous. I'm not gonna lie. Well... There's no variety of the monsters. Like I'm, I'm still comparing this to the D and D game where there would be um, like dragons that were nearly impossible to kill, and demons which were also difficult. Then there were the slimes which moved really slowly but were by definition impossible. And then there were rapid yeah. moving monsters that actually ate your arrows out of your inventory instead of attacking you. So there's some variety. Whereas with this, it's like. You just walking seems, around killing the same monster. It over seems and over. like that each level has a big monster that it only like. It's not like in the first game where there were a variety of monsters. Like uh, in the tree areas, there are those dragons, dinosaur things. I think in the castles, there are like these zombie kind of looking things. Also, there. But no geez, even. Yeah, even the Intellivision game would have, like, garbage and bones lying around. Uh, there are areas that do have those, if I remember correctly. Man, it would be great when we can actually see them. Yeah, that requires us getting out of here. I also say Grid Devil Joe is a brute wyvern. Oh my god, this is just monotonous. It's... See, making it quiet like this... Um, and having no background music. Oh, here we go. 
would make it kind of spooky if you could hear oh, the right. monsters from a fair distance, and there were some that you didn't want to engage. But the game isn't like that. No, it's just a very simple dungeon crawler and... Oh, uh, he's just... Here we go. He coming. Wow, that was pathetic. Uh, much like the original Dragon Buster, uh, dragons will have a weak spot that if you hit, do does a lot of damage. That oh one have to be no, my right. thigh! Thank you, Carl, the little expert. Can't believe you beat the game. The real battle starts here. I knew our princess was another castle. Okay. Okay, so... I like games that have content. Uh, let's see, what, what path should we go? Well, is the, the church, church another map? Okay. I don't really, there doesn't seem to be a map that... <laughs> wow! Also... That is back the here. best... What the fuck is this church? That is the best floor texture I have ever seen. I think Just it's an entire floor made of skeleton. In Clive Barker's Undying, you wind up in this crypt, and you are walking on giant piles of bones. And the, also, Dark Souls 1 has the flooded room where you're walking on piles of bones. But this is more than both of them. Yeah, they fucking wish they had this much skeleton. What? Oh my god, this this game. Oh. So what happens if you run out of arrows? Can you just run around like this? I can't remember actually. I think you might get one that is really slow, like in Rolling Thunder. <laughs> Also, if I were to kill that thing right here, it, it would destroy the arrows. That's cute. Well, what up? Fuck That's you. Cool stuff. Uh oh. That's interesting that your your tunic shows your health. That's a nice touch. What's up? Yeah, you, you're you're pretty safe. Also, you can't hit yourself with the arrows, and it will hurt you. Like you do. Love to shoot self like dumbass. I don't know, this overworld is complete nonsense, and this game is just kinda eh. You found the boy! Oh, where is it, though? Murder the boy! Not that way. Where is it? The fuck is that? I don't know. Like a detailed butt. I don't. Maybe. We must get him to turn around. Oh, 
I must learn of butt. Yeah. Yes! You just got a massive ass crack. Oh my god, it wiggles when he walks. Yeah. Do you, do you have like a special graphics category? What do you mean? Well, okay, so this game has that awesome floor texture and awesome wiggling butt crack. So this game, I think, needs an awesome. I mean, that would be that. style. Skip okay, it. remember style. that when it's time for style. See, the very wow. loud noises that the monsters make, it's just not very useful. It's not like you're gonna run away from it. I got it. Not gonna run away from it. And the thing only takes like two or three arrows to kill. Yeah, your bow oh. is fucking astounding. An arrow for each. Oh, so you are just always gonna be flush with arrows. But there's also no point to grinding, so. Well, you don't need to grind. Right, so combat isn't, you know. Combat's trivial. Right, so. I guess it's good that the enemies aren't, like, needlessly smart. I mean, it's nice, but once again, you're just always gonna be flushed with arrows. Go down, coward. Show your butt. Yeah, but I, I think it's a little cheap that all of the big monsters have the same stompy noises. Like, that guy should have a different noise. Also, that seems to be the same sprite every time, except for that one dragon. So, I feel like you've already been through this place. They might... share a... Oh. The... Oh, fine, Jesus. Oh, hold on, is that the... No. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can figure out where the, the actual... Nope, it's not going to let me through that. I think it's in that corner. Oh, don't do... Nice. I love this weird mole thing digging through the piles of bones. Oh. Okay, this is neat. Oh god! Yeah, this guy actually like has tech. And I like the way his, his head bounces after he dies. That's nice. Yeah, that, that's a really good death animation. Oh, there we go. And then you get to walk over Toriel's grave. Yeah, I think the, the seeds are... Or not the seeds, but... Vengeance. Yep. Yeah, see, this, uh, people have been bringing this debate up when it comes to procedural generation. It's like, yeah, you could put in procedural generation, but then because there's no, you know, curating of it, it's just you get a bunch of lousy dungeons. Also, to get the overworld is complete nonsense. Yeah, because they were a lot more manageable than the original. Like, I so have this, no clue how you're supposed to parse it. So this sounds like it's not an improvement over the original. You, it, it's kind of its own thing, but no, I would I would rather play the original over this. Yeah, like stylistically, it's pretty different from the original. Like I like I like a lot of things that this game is trying to do. It's just it doesn't do them the greatest. Finally, invincibility. Also, music. Oh, okay. <laughs> and 
Looped. It's the man that's over here. So can you hit yourself with your own arrows? Yes. Okay, yep. Just like the D&D &D game. Okay, but when do we fight a gelatinous cube? I don't think there's a gelatinous cube in this game. That was even the fucking point. Because we have an ass monster. We do have an ass monster. That, that there's plenty of gelatinous away. in that, that monster. It's a booty beast. Huh, that's new. Yeah, I think that's exclusive to these areas. A booty beast. Oh my god, this is awful. Yeah, these levels in particular seem to be really bad about get lost. Like I don't hate the game, but goddamn if it isn't monotonous at times. Like it's uh... like when you, when you hit a point like this, it's genuinely frustrating. Because it's like, where is this goddamn creature? Just wanna be free. Where is the one point in one branching path that I have not gone in yet? Jokes on your ass, it's just arrows! Ah, here we go. I was just cheating. Yeah. If I could do Did you ever game. use the axe? Nope. So yeah, that that was Dragon Buster 2. It sure, it sure was. was a game. Which I think belongs in the resist category. Let's, let's see, we put Dragon Buster 1 here. I do not think it goes above it. Would it not fit in with like the the, the, the adventure category? Like whatever the oh. uh the, the Zelda. Oh the Zelda? Hmm. Yeah. That's like a good... I would... Hmm. Yeah, maybe, actually. Like, it's more distinct kind of areas, but it is kind of sprawling. I guess. I don't know, it's up to you. Hmm. I'd say it's more fitting for... I really think of Zelda this... 2, actually. I can kind of see that. Yeah, I think this is probably about the lowest about, or like the closest it would get to be kind of arcade-ish. But yeah, I could definitely see it getting in here. Uh, with that, though, what, I, what would I rather put it above here? Would you rather play Deadly Towers? Yeah, it's going above Legend of Valkyrie, or Adventure of Valkyrie. I'm trying to remember what Guardian Legend is. It's that game where it's your the ship that can it's 
it goes between shmup and kind of Zelda-ish game. Yeah, it's, it's where you wander around dungeons, and then at the end you do a boss fight that's a shmup. It's a compile game. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. I would... Hmm. I'm kind of thinking in between Guardian Legend and Dragon Buster 2. And Dragon Buster 2. Yeah, you can't put this in between Dragon or Buster. Or in between uh, Adventure of Valkyrie. Okay. Yeah, that sounds fun to me. I think it was an alright game. It was just... Eh. I mean, it was repetitive, but at least it made more sense than Valkyrie. Yeah, oh god, no, no, no. Like, Dragon Buster 2 is, is easier to follow. It's just... tedious. Nine, Namco... Yes. Like there's there's a very basic gameplay loop, and it, it really draws it out. Yeah. That's the problem, is the lack of variation. Yep. Yeah, I think I'd probably call this atonal. Also, honestly, I feel like the lack of music was, was worked against it. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, I, I give it an X for sound. Style. Uh, I think I think I think B would be a fitting fitting style for this game. B for booty. It even looks like a butt. Not A for ass. No, just B. B for booty because it looks like a butt too. Um, feel. It felt fine. It's just it's very sprawling, which can be kind of irritating. Also, I still don't understand the point of the sub-items. Uh, it's mostly for overworld stuff. Gross. Um. Let's see. Um. Feel. I'd, I'd probably just give it a C. Uh, history. I don't even think it made it in Virtual Console. Uh, for now. Let me try. I've uh, yeah, I've never actually, I've never heard of the Dragon Buster line, so I'm not sure how influential that is. Oh, uh, Dragon Buster uh, line is not. It even... It's not. So, if you want some fun, it doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. Oh, perfect. Um, age. Uh, hold on, let me. Th- well, it's definitely aged poorly. Aged poorly, I just need to see how exactly. Let's see, what, what kind of password? Oh, it's a six digit? Is that just number? Okay. I think that is five or Oh, that puts it in the D category. Hmm. Yeah, let's just put D. Yeah, just put a tag that... (laughs) So basically what you're kind of asking for, Max, is if I... Because I was honestly kind of thinking, what if I just did... Is it this or no? What? How about this? All right. That no, that's there you are. Yep. There. I hear Christmas music coming from another room, and I'm ready to cut a bitch. There. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, an age is a D. And then, um, approach it was easy enough. Uh, but I would call it obtuse. So yeah. All right. So yeah, that is Dragon Buster Two. Um, yeah, a really weird sequel to the original game. I don't know why these are colored. Anyway, uh, I will be right back in one second. Okay. So yes, the last game we're going to be taking a look at today. Um, if we take figure uh, that we're there, sequels uh, to Mappy. 
There's sequels to Dragon Buster. Kill There's me. that one franchise that Namco really seems to love. That, of course, has a game that we're going to take a look at. Tower of Dragula. No, not... No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, close. But this How is... Close. Terrible is what it is. How Request of Key. Wars. That's because uh, the Mark of Cree. Uh, so yes, this is technically a prequel to uh, Tower of Dragula, as we'll see here. The Babylon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Technically, this franchise is called the. Ba I think it's the Babylonian Crystal Saga. Babylon. Oh wow. They're going full uh, Babylonian with an Anu here. Yep. yep. They definitely did that. I mean, the hero of Tower Drog is Gil. And all armor is uh, all armor is Iron Age. It's the good old Tower of Babel. Wait, was the Tower of Babel something that people were forced to make? I don't remember. Well, it was built in ancient times. There was at least one slave involved. Okay, that's, that one is slave. definitely fair. It's the good old Jeffrey, the sole slave, working on that Tower yeah, of Babel. Man. Everyone else was a contracted worker. Like, they had benefits, too. It was great. <laughs> that will teach Jeffrey not to show up at the annual meetings. Exactly. <laughs> this TR, it's totally magic. Here, totally have magic. this TR that lets you fly. Oh so boy, does it let it you was fly? not the Famicom Wars episode? Uh, no, it's not. That was the episode that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Oh, damn it. It's like I've got jet lag, but for life. <laughs> I guess. But yes. Let us start the quest of Key. Is this unique to the NES? Yes. Okay, okay. So okay. it's not the same as that weird platform. You know what? The well, NES no, keep... it, it is that weird platformer. Oh. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so if you remember Tower Drawag, it was a really confusing action RPG uh, that had really obtuse things. Basically, to kind of un understand this game, basically imagine if they took all the obtuseness of the original game with all of its really confusing solutions and just com distilled it into this game being a massive asshole. Because that's what this game is. This game sucks. Okay, so, because first off, I mean, we move. We have quite a bit of, we have momentum, which is always good. Also, we can run, which is great, because we can run into walls and stun ourselves. Also, the flight thing, oh, remember when I said we have momentum? Uh, yeah, also, also, here is our flight. <laughs> and then you hit your head. Wow. Yep. So, so I have a question. All right. Yes. Also, uh, Mighty Bomb Jack, Mighty Jellof, or this game? Which Mighty one? Mighty Bomb Jack. <laughs> oh yeah, Mighty Bomb Jack. That might be. Also, Fox. I thought uh, you misspelled Cubone. Nope, that's Quox. Reference to uh, TikTok of Oz. Quoxbone. <laughs> <laughs> Our whole planet needs us. <laughs> God, this is so terrible. Do, do we not have to collect the treasure chest at all? Nope. Uh, so that could have been a warp, which actually... You can actually beat this game in, like, five levels. Uh, why does it say lady, we... Fuck you. Why what? does it say we grants you the power of flight? You already have flight. It's... Yeah, that's us. No, it's... 
This is what uh -oh, it's talking about. Oh, you have more air control. Now it's... Well, I think it's so, more so normally, if you, you hold A and then if you let go of A, that is as much as you get. This lets you kind of do this, which... <laughs> Let's you slam your head into the fucking ceiling, Jesus. <laughs> music is special. So, it, it's a game where its central mechanic is control of gas. So, we actually did get this game in the, uh, overseas, right? No. Oh, this is a fan translation? Yes. Oh. Okay, just, just double checking. Just <laughs> double checking. <laughs> You know, if the goddess Ishtar exists, why do we still get, like, you know, stereotypical angel halos over our head? Because we know. suck. <laughs> Actually, yeah, why was he oh, out whoops. of all Yeah, we don't want to get that. For this? Oh, oh, was that poison? Yes. Nice job. Oh my god, this totally is Juraga. <laughs> oh no, the momentum, it betrays you. <laughs> also, never forget that this game has a new game plus. You mean, uh, well, a second loop? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> oh god, beholders. Please, you can't say Beholder. It's copyrighted. Ah, uh, you do. You notice that. Yeah, they're copyrighted. So, sorry, Arimons. They're evil eyes. Or evil eyes, yeah. They're observers. They're, they're my good friend, Eyeball Man. <laughs> okay, guys, time me. I'm gonna fireball. 34 years. Whoops. Why don't you just duck? You can't! I know, of course not! God, Even the fuck is off game! Oh no, it's great. That, oh, no, that my, little, my that factoid is gonna be, show up later on. In the dumbest possible way. What even is that that you picked up? It's a morph Uh, maybe it's the morph ball? Yeah. Oh, it's a morph. Okay. Yeah. No, see, you can duck, you smash your head, and then when you fall to the ground, you duck. I can't key crawl. Wow, the most boring enemy design ever. Wait, what? Why oh are the ones shoot you fireballs? Fire! This game hates you so much! Just let's make wasps even more fucking hateful! This is the rage pit. Why not? Right? This is, well, that, I guess you don't have to fight, but you don't have to do that chest. I don't have to. Too late, fucker, he's getting it. Yeah! Is that a warp? Another, another yeah. warp. Quack's okay. going, my buddy. Wow. <laughs> Silence, flame. 28, holy crap. Yeah, you can. No. Why? <laughs> Why did you float? There, you yeah, did it! All right. Holy shit! Strategic head slam. Yeah, that is that is an element. That is something. Yeah, I think there are some treasure boxes. Oh, there. That's something else. There are some treasure boxes. Oh god, we're on floor thirty-seven. Does, does this game have mimics? I think it does. So, uh, how I many? How many floors are there? 60. 60 in the main game. But there's like 60 uh, there's additional... 40 in the new game plus. Yeah. It's it's 40. So 120 left. What? What? Do you not math? 60 plus 60. No, it's 60 plus 40. I said that. Oh, I didn't hear the 40. I heard Lolo 60. Oh, it was wrong. I have game facts open right here. <laughs> Are the birds the basilisks? I, Are they? Maybe? I, I didn't see any snake tail. 
There are places yeah, yeah, you they, can't pass unless you purposely forward. bump your head. Oh, they even mentioned that. Wow. I think they they're confusing Basilos with cockatrice. Uh, no, that's it was clearly a, a bald eagle, which, as we all know, can turn you to stone. <laughs> which, yes, this is a cockatrice is supposed to be a uh, chicken monster. Yes. Oh, let's see. Uh, time to fire. Don't forget that for whatever reason, um, the perception of kobolds in Japan is dog people instead of dragon people for some reason. That's because I mean, the Westerners turned them into dragon people in 2000. Was was that the issue? Yeah, in, the, in 2000, D and D third edition decided kobolds were dragon people. Before that, they are not. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, but what about orcs being pigmen? Uh, orcs being pigmen, um, that, that came from Tolkien because they're kind of described that way. Uh, and then the Gamorrean Guard is in Return of the Jedi. Like, 1983's Return of the Jedi, which has the weird pigmen guys in it. And so the DD cartoon decides they should look just like Return of the Jedi. Huh. Hmm. But they, they are kind of described that way. Uh, they're, they're really subhuman in the original. But, but the, yeah, the entire idea okay. that cobbles are supposed to be... Because um, if you, like, go to the Wikipedia page, cobbles are just, like, house gnomes. or just, like, you know, German word for, like, dudes who hang out in your house. And then uh, in the early 80s, D&D decided they were dog people, which is why they're dog people in Sword Art Online. But then, around the 2000s, they decided they'd be dragon people, and now they're dragon people, so... I'm so glad your your first example was SAO. Yeah, because uh, that's the... the Because people have seen that, and like people are asking me, hey, I haven't cobbles seen are it. dog people. Well, the cobbles are dog people in SAO, because there's this big fight where they fight a bunch of cobbles and all have dog faces, and people are saying, why are they dogs and they should be dragons? I'm saying, well... Because well, SAO is ripping off 80s D&D, whereas everyone else is ripping off 2000s I mean, Japan rips off, like, 80s D&D, yeah. Uh... Yeah, the entire Wizardry series. But no, wasn't the problem, like, an actual typo when they imported D&D into Japan that actually made them have a different description? No, it's because, um, if, like, if you look at the 1980s Volve D&D, um, Errol Otis and... Uh, and Donald Sutherland were drawing them as dog-headed people because D&D decided they had dog heads. Like, like D&D decided that bugbears, cobbles, goblins, brownies, and gnomes were all different things that all had to look different. Whereas before that, those are pretty much interchangeable terms for weird guy, weird monster humanoid. Huh. Nope. I, I mean, Tyrion SAO is creatively bankrupt. Yeah, it's it's like what if Dot Hack decided, hey, after the you know after they've solved the problem, what if they didn't solve the problem? <laughs> it's like if you took Dot Hack and just stripped the main character of any personality and gave him a harem. Oh, what? <laughs> what the hell's the point of the shield if it doesn't protect the Will Wisp? <laughs> I mean, we're oh, there you go. So, 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 sorry, Lola. We're so poor at this game that we on off on other stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's to be expected. I mean, we've seen all of this game already. Oh, this, this, oh, is bullshit on parade. this is bullshit on parade. And we haven't, yeah, even no, this game's the, a fucking we haven't even gone to the special stages yet. What do we mean these power-ups do? I don't there, know. There was a translation patch that, uh, or I could have turned I it on so that- I think the thing you picked up was silence. Oh, is that what the lightning oh. bolt is? Maybe that's what that is. It's, it's it not like a lightning, lightning bolt. bolt. It doesn't yeah, but it, it looks like it's, it's, oh, it's a musical mode. It's a musical I think thing. it's a pause. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's supposed to be a quarter rest. Yep. Ah, yeah, but this game. Who is it supposed to silence? Yeah, we have we've already hit oh 460. We did it. We did it. We got to the top of the tower. Loco, please finish what you're chewing before you try to talk. 
Never. Uh oh. Okay. Wait, what just Oh happened? no, it was a fake rod. No, it was a real rod. Uh wait what? Um uh yep. what? Sucker. I like how he breaks through the wall Looney Tune style. It's pretty good, just Kool-Aid man his way through. No, I I like that our one? idea more. See it's left behind after he breaks through. Uh, oh, oh. So there we go. So are we a lump of clay, a boulder, or a pile of dust? We got to turn to stone. Okay. Literally. Yeah, because remember, this is a prequel <laughs> to Tower of Juaga, so there's got to be. Yep. He's stuck. But um. So uh, she was turned into a statue in the original. I think she. I, I, I think guess. There is a statue somewhere to the side, if I remember correctly. No, I like this. She was just turned into a fucking hunk of rock. Yeah, this is like where the art department took that literally. Turn to stone. Okay, that's a stone. You got it. You got it, my dude. <laughs> Let's duck off. Well, I mean, there's, there's 40 more levels. Maybe we get to stop being a stone for a little bit, and then nope. we become... Just they drop out the stone and go get trashed afterward. <laughs> So, spacing on this is not the greatest. Oh, yes. Wait, hold on. He and Gilgamesh were already an item here? I believe so. Uh, Alright. Please, Gil. <laughs> it's Mr. Gil to you. Mr. Girugamesh. No, it was no. Mr. Gil and all, and all the folks. <laughs> also, yes, this, yeah. one, this game was worked on by Masanobu Endo, who was the creator of the original. I'll swear with Thomas Knight is. Wow. Um, you know, I, I don't say this lightly because I always try to look for the good in games, but I, I hate this. Yeah, this game is bad. Through it. Yeah, we We're still not... got the challenge levels. <laughs> the challenge levels. <laughs> We're not in easy mode anymore. 40 levels of pure, unadulterated stone dough. On fanfare! I'm a fish. Oh, by the way, uh, tomato worked on this. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> Already did the fan translation. And Damn so Nam Namcot is a company that Namco made, so you can five games a year. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. I think Oxide was the fan translator. I thought Tomato was the translator. Uh, I did the mm -hmm. not translator. He's the person who made the ROM hack. Yeah, okay. to to Tomato translated it, and yeah, that's how it works. The All other right, person did. Welcome to die. Finally. Okay. Here we go. So, uh, you're this dead. This is first you truly hate quite. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Behold. I wasn't kidding. The fastest will of the wisp. And, uh, oh. an owl? Oh, another warp already? Wait, There's who's this to it? This isn't Quark oh. at all. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, game! <laughs> That is some bullshit. They I mean, it didn't even, do anything in the long run, but still. They even gave him a different face. Yeah, because now he's quick. So he's evil. Way he's out. evil now, also. I'm yeah, you, you know those real shit flight controls? I hope you like precision platforming. I wow. Know. But you have a nice hitbox. Apparently it's only your torso that matters, not your legs. No, the legs matter. Oh, well, you have some wiggle room, because you brushed against it. How many special floors are there? Forty. Forty. Also... also... Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> and then he ate a pack melon. I mean, it, I mean, that's not the only thing. 
Oh my god, is that one of the map cats? Yep. What do they call those rum hacks that are total dicks? Kaizo. Kaizo, yeah. So it's yeah, like rearranged or whatever. I was looking up to see if there was a Toho fan game of this, and surprisingly there was not. I'm Why like would it's... you think that they would make a side-scrolling Tower of Draga fan game? Because uh, they've made fan games of so much goddamn shit. That's yeah. fair, but... I don't understand yeah, the appeal of Tower of Draga. They made an entire anime based off of it. It's one of the worst games ever. It's a Oops. it's a goddamn mystery. What the hell is that? Invisible it was an anime. invisible ghosty. What? Ah! See, if you hadn't gotten the silence, you would have seen it shooting. Well, it's uh, I think of the candle right here. Yep. Please stop smacking your stupid goddamn head. Ah, finally, you found Jesus. Can we put it back? No, it's, it's too late. Oh no. And now we got touched by the Just least threatening touch. enemy. Touched by a ghosty. Is that a ghost? I guess. Now oh, it's one to me. Oh good. Ah, extra time, congrats Lolo. Wait, there- mm. More time to suffer. There are two doors. Oh, uh, one's the entrance. Yeah, let's go back through the entrance, I'm gonna leave this shit hole. Yeah, can we accidentally go back? No, you can't. Okay. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this game is absolute ass, and not even the good kind. Not like the booty beast. Exactly! I, I thought... God oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Loco, were you not here for the booty beast? No, he came in just for this. I think I was not here for the booty uh, beast. Dragon Buster had a, uh, an enemy with a detailed butt, and it wiggled. I see. I missed it. So we, named, we named it the Booty Beast. Was that not its official name? I'm gonna we don't go know ahead the and say no. God damn it. God damn it. So what if he had a gun? Oh, get me. So you, what if she just started the game by shooting herself? No, she just had a Beretta and shot everything. What is that? Goopy. It's like is a... that supposed to be a violet fungus? I think it's I supposed think to be it's a... an anemone or something. Yeah, I think it's a but um. Well, because they're, they're ripping off the indie monster beholder. There's an indie monster, which it is might be a violet rope. fungus. That's a mushroom roper. It is 100% a roper. Yeah. It, well, the thing is, there is a roper monster, which I really hope there are because they are horrifying in this game for one very specific it, it, reason. It, yeah, if that's a roper, it's a shitty roper. Oh, have by the way, you really want to know how to make this game even better? There's wind now. Yes. And there's no visual cue about how the wind works. Yeah, it basically just pushes you backwards slightly. Does it work when you're landed, or just when you're in the air? When you're in the air. Is it different in different parts of the maze? No, it's always going to the right. So what you're saying is you can always smack your face now. Yeah, but I can rebound um, myself against the wall. My ass. This game is so bad. It is incredibly I, bad. I bet this is one of the top sellers of the NES. Uh, from what I remember, because there was a... I have a DVD that's supposed to be like... Uh, the people who, who, like, run Famitsu, or the company behind Famitsu, did a poll in 2003 of the top 100 Famicom games, and I do not believe that this is on it. And Takeshi's Challenge is on that list, so... Well, I, I shouldn't say, I, I didn't mean by, uh, like, popularity, I meant Whoa. selling. Like, I'm guessing this sold a bunch of copies because this is the kind of game that... Uh, what? 
Are we getting turned to stone because that thing is on screen? Oh, that's the basilisk! No, oh, that's a basilisk, okay. So as long, if we turn right at all, we could turn to stone. Yeah, oh, but so the basilisks are correct. So those bird things were not basilisks, those bird things were something else. Okay, well, they get the basilisk right then. So it is not in the top 100 bestsellers. Oh, it is not? I'm... Okay. Um. Oh my god, that's that Indian uh, Panagalan, the, the weird head vampire with intestines. Oh my god, this more than one. BRB gonna detach my head from my body and just bring with me some organs. Right. Which, admittedly, is scary as crap, but... Yeah, let me tell you about encountering in Dreadout and how much that sucks. What are those things? Birds. Birds. They're penguins. So the ones on the bottom are penguins and the ones up here are ostriches? Are they from yeah. a game? Yeah, birds, man. They'll fuck your shit up. They will. You don't fuck with big birds. I know you don't fuck with big birds, I'm just wondering if these birds are using sprites from a particular game or something. I don't think they are. Yes. No, I, I think it's mostly the art department is told you need to fill this with like 80 monsters, and they go, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe they're axe beaks. Ah! I Which is another D&D nice monster. Score. Loosely based off the MOA. I have nothing more to teach you, I say, despite giving you more advice. Don't be Don't fooled by gold nuggets. Don't touch any gold nuggets. Touch the gold nugget. What happens if you touch oh. the nugget? You just oh, die. Oh, you just fucking die! I was just saying what you expect what's gonna happen. <laughs> These poisonous well, the... gold nuggets. Why bother having gold nuggets at all? Why not just make it like a spike ball or something? Yeah, uh, cause fuck you. <laughs> oh, what did... What the hell is that? Yeah, it moves to the side a little bit and then wiggles. God damn it, Inky, stop being an asshole. God. You know that's <clears throat> impossible. Wait, who kept being an asshole? Inky, or whatever that ghost is. I think that's Inky. I thought Here's Inky... <laughs> Okay, so... I can't remember. Oh my god! Nice. Are you gonna get through all 40 levels? Is that your plan? I mean, we're going at a pretty good clip now. Uh, uh, do, we need, do we need those presents? I don't think so. They're for our boyfriend, Gil. Ah, uh, yes. I, too, remember that we were climbing this tower to uh. fucking die. But at least we'll be covered in fucking boxes upon boxes like a goddamn Christmas tree. Look, it's fine. He can just shoot all these weapons at the enemy and destroy them. It's, it's okay. What do you mean? What's even going on here? Uh, he's trying to hit his head to dunk oh. the fire, but... Oh, it's it doesn't matter, because I don't need to go that way. Yeah, I was wondering, I don't think you even need to go that way. Oh, except... Okay, I gotta at least see what is over here. Uh, how would you want to bet it's poison? It's a... nothing. It's it nothing. literally nothing, bitch! Congratulations on your... Yeah, congratulations on your hot new nothing. Yeah, whatever, that worked out. Oh no, you touched the pipe. The spike. The pipe? The pipe. Pipe hot! <laughs> this is weird tower full of steam pipes. I'm gonna really be mad if we don't see a roper. <laughs> oh, oh, it's. <laughs> Guess what's in the stage? Oh, you. It's wind, my favorite thing. Bonk. Can you just 
slow down the processor? This music's very good. <laughs> oh. See, the, the, the weird brown uh, beholder guys, like, move for a little bit and then do a little wiggle and then run the other way. They're like booze, except assholes. Even more so. Well, booze actually fought track you. Those guys just weird. Holy hell. I, I'm sorry? Uh, how do you feel about that thing, but with a little cone shell? Oh, it's just gone. I guess it died. You get that crystal or that orb and it goes away. The murder orb. I decided to go home and be a family man. A dated Italian tomato? What are you what? talking about? <laughs> I think oh, I, I think she's me. coming on to you. <laughs> I think she was like dropping some some real strong hints there, like wink, wink, take me out. I mean, it's fitting for the myth or the actual epic. Bonk, bonk, bird. Oh my god! Wow, what a big move. <laughs> I love precision oh, platformings and games that allow no precision whatsoever. How do people play this game? Very carefully. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Goddamn Bosconian things? Oh, that's what those are, okay. By the way, you have to do that in one take. Oh yeah, because you'll be shot. Uh. Behold, Spike Land! Hold on, hold on one second, I'm gonna get a phone call. Welcome to hell. Okay. Okay. Oh, this... God, this is the worst. Okay, there's gotta be, like, one that... No, you need to, like, have, like, this delicate touch. Yeah, I think you need to land. Well, no, because if you land, you get momentum as you fall. Yeah, that's the thing. Just gently tap that fucking button. Kills the ogre. Oh, and then it kills me because I can't. I don't think. It, well. Nope, I can't angle it. So you'll have to get one of the flights. something down there that looked like promising. There we go. I'm guessing all the other ones are just more lights. Oh, that? Uh... Oh, oh, let's see. <laughs> All the way back to level 44. Well, I'll rewind. What a jerk. 
They told you don't get the warps. Are all of these gonna be warps? No, they're all gonna be feathers. Is that a good thing or not? It's an unnecessary thing. They're all red herrings. They're all there to make you think, well, I need a feather to get through this, so obviously I need to get one of these guys, and maybe if you did Pixel Perfect, but really they're all red herrings because he got the one you could actually get. Then you have to get that because that kills the ogre. Maybe one of them is like a clock or something. Or maybe you, you're you expected to hope that one of them is more time. No, this game is a dick. Well, obviously, but I mean, wait. I'm trying to think of a fool me twice and I still get fooled the third time scenario. Yeah, let it hit you and let you fall on the edge. Yeah. Well, it wasn't hitting, let me, it wasn't in the edge. Oh, okay. Well, you did it. You cheating mofo. <laughs> I don't want to play this game legit. <laughs> You're not even at the halfway mark. Oh, hello. Oh god. Oh no, Pukas. My worst enemy. So threatening. So wobble. What the hell even is that? That's the, the flag. flag from Growly X! Yeah, I think it's just a point bonus. Yeah. Uh, I think it is intentionally meant to be a waste of time. I, I bet that there's people that like play for the high score on purpose. Oh no, the Pooka. There are people who play Tower of Dragon purpose. <laughs> I was going to say I was impressed, and then you hit your head. Bonk. You can't even control your descent. Once it starts, you're just stuck, right? Yep. Oh my god! Well, you can control- oh, okay, so you can control, like, you're in air, but you can't control, like, the- the... your height, I guess. But, I mean, can you- can you break your descent, or is it, oh, once you hit your head, or let go, that's it, you just start falling? Uh, if you hit your head, you're stuck. That is definitely a thing, so... Oops! Slightly touch the spike. The penguins from hell. I hate the flight music, it's... But we couldn't make a sprite where she has wings or something. So you're gonna have to use the sound cue to know. Taking the elevator down. This game will have me do a standing applause on 499. They use that same owl sprite, but on 499 it actually jumps. Uh, hmm. That's weird. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, running start. This game is a dick! Weepy bit. I have nothing more to tell you. What? I... I, I guess... <laughs> I guess you did it, you... That's that's a game over, right? You you won. The Ishtar said oh. so. I, I missed what she said. Uh, she we said are now the world's world. hero. Yeah, well no, no, not the world's hero. You'll protect this world as its hero. See before you're protecting it as your servant. Now you're protecting it as its hero. It basically means I'm not going to tell you any support anymore. 
I mean, that's that's a way to interpret that, yeah. Ah, <laughs> you have to do all this in one shot! Yep, because we don't have a feather, so we have to hold up. And hope for the best. If you do all this in one shot and you can't break your assets because... If you un let go of the button, you immediately descend forever. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? There's a little space you can land on after every spike step. Just take it, just take it. Yeah, yeah take there the you go. <laughs> oh. A busted knee, but good. it's fine. Oh, here we go. More penguins. Behold, penguin hell! What? Oh, like. What? Oh, fuck you. Who is that? I think it's a sleeping Frankenstein? I think? This man speaks to me. Do you think the treasure chest next to the guy has something that will help you with the penguins or something? You know what? Probably has something to do with him. God, the head hitting is like the worst fucking thing I've seen in a game. Fox oh, and Fox forest. and Forest. I don't know what that is, but I think there it goes. I there. Don't know Oh, <laughs> your PG-13 show, no! <laughs> oh, God damn it. oh boy, this is a solve oh. our problem. So now you know how you're supposed to do it. Why? Yeah, get the key! You don't need to deal with that dumbass. Yeah, that's true. But I want to see what's in the treasure chest. It's gonna be a war, but we're gonna get talked to by Quakes or whatever the not Quakes's name is. Yeah, Lolo, lo, lo, don't stop seeing what's in the treasure chest. We already know they're just fucking with you. There's, it's not like Tower of Draga where something you get in the chest will help you in the next floor. I mean, to be fair, in Draga, there's stuff that would definitely hurt you too. Right, but at least, like, in Draga, they'd be, like, the boots which you keep forever. Are, are all these assets unique to this game, or did they, like... I think they are. Well, I mean, besides the homage ones. I don't think the key is unique to this, but... The enemy sprites, probably. I mean, some of them, like the salamander I've seen before, but of course things like the puka and the... Um, I'm sorry, how much time did that say? <laughs> 15 seconds, fucko! <laughs> That's gonna be okay. more time, yep. Okay. Huh, so you actually touch the flame for her, but Yeah, the... it's it's the flame itself, not the thing that hurts you. Also that's not gold nugget, that's a rock from Bosconian. I sure I said. I appreciate that they intentionally make it impossible to finish within the time limit. That's why I knew he, uh, 
I thought they were gonna make you have to like grab multiple ones, like make it and just like small. fucking rush it. <laughs> oh hey, it's the advisor we should have gotten in that one treasure chest room with oh, the no. spikes. Oh. What so what does poison do to you? It slow. It speeds up the timer. I'm trying to wonder, okay. is that the effect stack? No, it Holy doesn't. Holy shit! It doesn't stack, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Watch out for the basilisk. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> oh. It's so long as oh, it has its eye closed, it's fine. Oh, it's got eyes. Yep. Oh. Oh, cat. Oh! Oh, hey, it's the scorpion from Galaga. I was waiting for Galaga. This game kind of sucks. I right, will now show my opinion. I'm gonna go do my dishes, so I'll be back. Better Tyrion. Have there been any more references since then? Just, you know, Pink Frankenstein? I don't... Kinda terrible. <laughs> what is this still happening? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why do you do these things that you do? <laughs> Lolo, who hurt you? This game, apparently. Okay, how bad is this one gonna be? Come on, fuck me up, fam. What an absolute fuck you. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my, we fuck have got to stop off. eating like this. <laughs> yeah, so they put that there if you're going too fast and you can't get to the door. How did you avoid that? This Pro weird no, there's tampon one with wings. No, what you could do is, as it's going to the right, go through it, and then just... Uh-oh, yeah, uh you dumbass. Yeah, this is... Perfect. Nail it. Behold the wiggly boy! It's good when you get a roper that has arms, because they're... You see how many frames of animation that thing had? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. And the wizard didn't hurt you. What is the present? Is that just I think points? it's just a point. One day we'll get a fifth life. 
No, really? <laughs> what do you think of me? Seriously, I'm pretty sure she's coming on to us. That or she's trying to develop, to make us hate her. Oh, I see what I need. Yeah, you need flight. Go the entire wrong way. I mean, the long way. <laughs> Lolo, to show my solidarity for you, I poured myself a glass of the liquor of Draga. Bad luck, 2020. No. <laughs> no, I like the Mad Dog 2020 option more. No, Ma the, because that will make you feel no pain. Have you guys ever had Malort? No, I don't even know what it is. Uh, so Malort is this liquor you, um, from Chicago that was able to get past the Prohibition ban because it's supposedly a medicine. Rimmis, what are you doing here? Wait, Great Grimace. Great Grimace. Grimace is a depressed cousin. <laughs> oh my god, they're literally going through the D&D monster manual. That's the, um... Uh, the, what is it? Abu Ghraib? That is a monster in D&D that just looks like a big head with legs. So yeah, that's an axe beak, and that's... They're literally just going through the D&D monster manual. And that's no surprise whatsoever. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of been <laughs> Nap Arcade MO for a while, or, oh. Hello, what the actual- man. That is a that? rust monster! Oh wait, it is? I was like going to guess, but I thought it would be stupid of me to guess. Yes, that is, that is a freaking rust monster, and I'm guessing that's a piercer, like that cone will fall on your head. Yeah, it does. Oh uh, yeah, it does. I thought it was just a stalactite that fell on your head, not like an actual D&D monster. It's an actual D&D monster, it waits for you to get underneath it and it falls on you. Well, this is before the era of video games where stuff just falls for no reason in video games now. Hmm. Oh, this looks like it's gonna suck. Guess what, fucko? It's gonna suck even more than you could possibly imagine. You have to go back to get the key. Yeah, you shouldn't have gone up the right way. No, I it's... I'm gonna need something to get... Uh, I bet you I'm gonna have to get Jewel. Or this is gonna be Flight. Because there's no All way right, I can get the... There's no way I can get the key without it. Yeah. Aren't you gonna be too slow because of the, um, what's the word? What does that do? do? Is it that oh. vulnerable to fire? Oh, it's invulnerable to fire. Yeah. It's invulnerable to Will of the Wisps, I guess. Because I, I wouldn't have been go, able to get up there because that thing's too fast. Okay. Wow, an item that's useful. <laughs> If we ever have a low low count or something like that, I'll bring some alerts and you don't share. No! Actually, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, a rust monster for one level. Wow. I mean, the head guy was also just in that one level. Yep. God, it's the like they were. Thing. They had started out they were gonna make a D. They said, this is too hard. Let's just make a really shitty flight game. And they're like. We'll put the tower truck's name on it! And so. Yeah. And so a play franchise tower is rock, I don't know what's good. You know, I think I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm not you, gonna finish. You've only got nine more levels. Yeah, don't be a fucking coward. No, it's it's it's. Oh. You got this far. Nine more levels. We don't know how long those levels are gonna be. They're not going to be more than 50 seconds, or 90 seconds. The timer never doesn't go above 99. 
Okay. What if what if in each and every single one of them it's just Ishtar saying, Yeah, you you deserve a break. How about we start talking about philosophy? At least start putting in game genie cheats or something. Oh. Wait, you can stand on it? Yeah, the flamethrower guys don't hurt you, just the flame hurts you. Interesting. Look at that, see? How much are you willing to bet that that chest is a warp? It's well, definitely except... a warp. See? We even got, like, a cutscene. Thank God you told us what spikes are. I hope I hate you. Get I hate you so much. I hate you so much. <laughs> Oh, this game is great. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what happens. What is that? The warp. It's warp. Oh, it's the warp. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, instead of 37, 28, huh? Well, okay. hurry up and rewind. Rewind. Yeah, don't pick anything up. I guess... Oh, now it's a platforming challenge. No. Watch out yeah, for Spike. I think you have to go the lower way. Yeah. yeah. There you go. We did it. <laughs> oh, fucking god. I don't know. These puzzles Stop aren't that hard to figure out. They're just. They're not even puzzles, it's now. just. This is like the irritating stick. <laughs> Emphasis on the irritating. Yeah, like the problem here is execution. What does that D do? Stop the enemies? Oh, look at the. Oh, there's the ropers. Oh, what? You found actual ropers. Okay. There's your Oh my god, rope. look at how detailed their animation is. Holy shit. Ah. Like, like, just sit there and look at them and see how, like, many frames and how detailed it is compared to literally every other monster in the game. Yeah. No, the little guys are definitely the violent fun guy. I know, I just appreciate how incredibly detailed the ropers are compared to everything else. Well, they might only be four frame animations. But they no, look they also look yeah, no, it's it's very smooth, is what it is. Yeah, they spent a lot of time on that. Also, they couldn't be just ripped from another game. I, I I really just wonder if they've been working on a D and D game that had just been canned. Probably. Oh my god. Okay, I got news for you, chat. Uh, Ishtar's a dick. I don't remember if she's canonically meant to be a dick, or if she it's most just, definitely like, is. Oh well, okay. Are you talking, if we're talking epic of Gil Gilgamesh, then most certainly. Oh yeah, I meant in this franchise in particular. No, oh, she, no she's supposed she's to be helpful. Be, yeah, she just kind of sucks at it. Hey, she said you're she's you know, you're no longer her servant. You're you're a hero on your own now. She takes no responsibility for anything you do. Is is that why she's been coming on to us though? I wouldn't call hope you don't get shish kebab coming on to us. Depends on what you're into. Maybe her sense of humor just sucks. <laughs> Which I would believe. <laughs> Behold this boy. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck the fuck off game. He did it! Get and then smack your just face. Take the toast of. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the big head guys jumped too. We just stopped. <laughs> Remember, you don't need it. 
Oh wait, you do need yeah, it. Yeah, I do need it. It, it. This isn't... It's... You just gotta... Yeah, that one's yeah, but you can fly right. now, so you should be able to... Okay, so don't okay. get the other one. Yeah, that chest that is clearly... Oh. Oh, it's more time. Okay. Wow. I was <laughs> expecting yeah. a warp, honestly. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I needed to see if that was a warp. Or a poison. I was expecting like that. that I mean, it. warps are worth seeing anyway, because they're hilarious. She wanted to see the world too. Who didn't want to see the world? <laughs> you know, some games might think you need more than one background tune, but Tower of Draga. I mean, Tower of Draga had different background music. Oh well, so well, Mark of Key is Quest of Key. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not just fly above it all? No. no. You can't sustain flight that we'll, long. we'll hit the ceiling. There no you go. Bonus. Round two. Electric boogaloo? I, I never said that. I didn't say you said it. Damn, you got me. Uh, the speed runs of this are pretty impressive. Are there warpless speedruns so we can see all the horror? Well, the last 40 levels have no warps at all, so... Oh yeah, but you know what I meant. Yeah, I'm guessing the other levels just aren't very interesting. Um... Are you maybe supposed to get that chest down there, maybe? No, he's almost got it. No, I... I don't... I don't have enough momentum. Well, how would you be able to get that chest? Oh, I'll just die. oh, I think. I... No, I, I think I know what I have to do. What do you have to do? I have to make like a giant C. A super C. A giant C upwards or downwards? I think I have to thread the needle on the right side of these goes. Thread the needle and slam your face. I'm guessing you can't help slow your descent the way you can in Mighty Bomb Jack or Mighty Kill Off. No. So <laughs> oh god! Two wow. more floors. Come on, you can do it. Uh, technically, three more floors. Three more oh, floors. Right. Assuming there's no more dick moves, which I'm sure this game is out of dick moves. I mean, come on. It, it uh, might have more this. dick moves. And look at this this room. Yeah. You got a precision head bashed. I think you have to head bash on each platform. Yeah, but like, the problem is... There you go. Too... Too close. Yes. We knew you could do it. They just immediately head bash into some spikes. Ah, here's the... Oh. <laughs> Oh, what? Mm. My killer sausage and me. 
No, you could have made that might landing. Be safe. There you go. <laughs> and then one just shows up in front of the door. Just has a gun. We're waiting for like the <laughs> Yeah, the door opens and hand comes out with a gun. Yes, we knew you'd do that. <laughs> Uh, can you remove the spikes? No, you can, but you could fall. I think you could just walk and fall underneath it. No, that's not gonna work, though. No, I mean, literally, no, I mean, no, just no, walk no, off the platform, to... so yeah, you're back on the, the platform. Oh, never mind. You oh. Did that thing. Well, can you get oh, enough wait. momentum there? Yeah, it's a problem, because I need the momentum. Yeah, I think you need to back up and get a running start. There you go! I think it's easier if you walk- well, you did it anyway, but it's easier if you walk underneath it. Hey, it's a stupid bird! The penguins of death. Why is the head hitting a thing? Why wouldn't it? Shit, you're right, you got me. That's just more time. <laughs> are they really gonna make you thread that? That's right, they are. Yeah, it oh, looks like uh, it. No, I think that there's probably gonna be something. Maybe a small crystal? Or you could just run this. I don't think you can get enough momentum to do it. Nope. Joke's on my ass, I guess. I guess so. You need momentum that, if you're gonna make that. It still yeah. feels like the joke's on Lolo, really. This one I don't think I can ride. If you do the other one, you can do this one. It is one brick smaller, but I don't know how you're gonna do any of these other ones. Seeing if there's something over here. You do have the time. Also, judging, I think that you saw that this is the way that you need to go. Yeah, they did give you a time boost. Momentum. There we go. So it's a trick. Okay. I mean, there was there was a chest underneath another thing that maybe you could have gotten to, but if it contained anything other than a tiny crystal, I yeah, it was definitely a trick. No. Get the hell out of my house, sir. Stop. We break down the Tower of Babel ourselves. <laughs> oh, and this is meant to be the... So this is the first stage of, um... Return of Ishtar. Which is the arcade version? Uh, it's the sequel to Tower Gawaga. We have to find the crystal orb to make the ogres oh, disappear. No, I see what I need to do. Is that Alf? No. Is that Alf's husky brother, Super Alf? Hate it. Not me. <laughs> Big winner. Oh, oh god, the warp. 
He's gonna te just teleport you to one. Bet one. Please be one, please be one. Zero to level one, oh. I'm at <laughs> Damn, nine. 19. <laughs> what a dick game. Alright, so that kills the ogres. No, that, no, that, no, that kills the red little 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 We had to figure out which one has the thing. Big one with the loot. Wait, what did that do? It just yeah. killed the big one with the invincibility. That invincibility? That. What the hell? What the are these things? Oh, actually, I just realized these are uh, the magic icons from uh, Return of Ishtar. Oh, okay. Okay. You've got Jesus again. Man, I chose the ghosts. Can you kill the big boys with invincibility? Oh, the the well, one of them disappeared. Gone. Yeah. Yeah, the one right beneath you. Yep. Big ol' crystal ball makes the ogres. So that's the one that kills the ogres. Points. More points for that's the points. That's not. I think that's Rally. life. Wait, uh, uh, who cares what's in their chest? <laughs> We're free. <laughs> we did it. Great! Great. Get out of the castle. I mean, Wait, that's, that's all you're getting. Not even a congratulation. So you're gonna give me? Okay. <laughs> and you are a master. No. Yes, the respect of the staff. They spend you know, the actually, now that I think about it, this is a really good segue because uh, to the next episode. Because guess what company made this console ports of wizardry? <laughs> Was it was it Game Studio? It was Game Studio. Wow. Fuck! Did it soft block? No. Nope. Game over. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't. So. Um. Fuck this game. <laughs> Does this belong in the attack or dex category? I don't know. How do you feel? Um, because it's a ten. Platform. It is a platformer, and there is a time limit. Because the thing is, I can kind of see is like, because like we have games like March and Maze in here. They're trying to basically to thread the needle to get to the end at a certain time. Yeah, but the problem is like this is all about memorization. Like in a realistic setting, one where people didn't have time travel bullshit like we do, um, they would have had to restart the game. The over game. And over. Yeah, or, you know, as however many one-ups they have on hand. So, you start with work. three. So, probably attack then? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, I, it's a, I, it's I, a, I wouldn't it's call a this a puzzle platform. game. Excuse me. Um, I wouldn't call this a puzzle. Is no, trial no. and error getting screwed over a puzzle game? No, because that's the thing. It's not, There's no real puzzle. It's just being... It's having a map or knowing where the items are so that you don't pick up voices, pick up warps that send you backwards. That's just the game fucking you over, though. It is the yeah. game fucking you over, but it's the game fucking you over in a way that you have to memorize That's... it for future play. But that doesn't make it a puzzle. I, I don't think that it... No, I'm puzzle. saying it's not a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. we're all saying it's not a puzzle. So it's either attack or dex. Um... Dex. Well, you only have one hit, so... Yeah, so that would be attack. I, I think this is the most pixel-perfect game that I have seen you play. Oh, it is a raging cock when it comes to being pixel-perfect. Because yeah, that's, the, that's the thing that I'm thinking of, Lux and Dex, because there is some maneuvering that is not... The game expects more from you than you could ever give it. No, I think that just through that, that I think it belongs... Uh, at the very least, I would rather play Knights over this. Knights over I mean, I... I would rather play Super Break... Like... I would rather play Super Breakout. This is, there's no way this is not going total trash. 
Yeah, no, it's fucking abysmal. The question is, I don't know if I'd say... I would play this over the Black Bass. Yeah, that's... Yeah. If you, you held a gun to my fucking head... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lolo's stream. Is, is, the, is the Black Bass the gun? The metaphorical gun in this? No, oh, no, this it's, it's, it's a literal out. gun held to my head. Oh, I see. I just don't know anything about the game The Black Bass, so I don't know if it's that horrible. It's a really shitty uh, fishing it's game. It's a really, cr yeah, crappy fishing game. It is a bad fishing game that is also very boring. I mean... You would not try to call that No, you say fishing is boring. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> what kind of tone would we give that? <sighs> Uh, I really have you one. Bump your head a lot, and then there's a bunch of Namco cameos after the well, what the did we last give, 40 levels. What did we give Tower Draga? We give it a tonal, so I'd give this also a tonal. Um, Sam. Is there an asshole tone? Because you're going to eventually need one. Well, that's not really a tone, that's something else. Uh, sound. How'd you like that one theme? In the flight hey, music. I hope you like that one song. Well, no, it's not the one song. It's the one song, and then there's the flight music. The there's one song songs. in the song that you wish that there was only one song. <laughs> um, let's see. I would say D. Uh, style. Man, um, the yeah. animation for the Ropers were nice, I guess. I'd say like a C. The um, I would give it a D. It's the, the we kept talking about these sprites and they were stolen from another game. Key oh, getting yeah. turned into a stone. Well, like the fact that they used the graphics from another game, I would not like, dock that against it. The, there's also Did two other thi uh, but there's also two other things to dock against it. Uh, the edges of the map, instead of having a solid wall texture, they just use the column and they could go off into an infinite abyss, so you can't tell when you're at the edge. And also. The background never changes. They didn't even swap the palette. It is that red brick background for 100 And the same levels. columns in the same uh, ground. I have not played much of Legend of the River King, so I really can't speak to that. Yeah. So I think there needs to be a letter deduction just for the fact that the background never changes. Just one of the simplest things they could do. Uh, well, background and, and foreground objects. like it's, it's the same tile set the whole way through. Cat, in fuck a off. Sense, in a sense, I'm fine with it not changing because the few enemies levels. that there, the few enemies that there are, would suck trying to differentiate them in different environments. I'm just if it turns out that they We're don't talking, account for that. Real quick, talking about the 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 enemies stylistically. Yes, there were like very obvious like sprite rips from other games, but those were strictly in the special stages, which were yeah, yeah. meant to be meant to be like extra. Um, well, the violet fungi and the obvious, I mean, well, the, the, those, we don't know if those are sprite rips. Yeah, the comical no, ones are showing up in are. special stages. No, but, but the fact is, like, they, they're not even trying. There's no variation at all. Even mm -hmm. Prince of Persia changes the backgrounds. I, yeah, the backgrounds and foreground objects, yeah, I can, I can agree with 100%, but there is quite a bit of enemy variety at the very least. Yeah, there, there's enemy variety, although they all kind of do the same thing. I mean, there's the basilisk. That is moving on to feel. Possibly only puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> the feel. Uh, that's getting backwards. -y. Absolute dog shit. Um, history. history. I I guess it's no. It had a lot of sp spinoffs and sequels, and then um, yeah, Capcom, but this Capcom from and it. stuff. I think, oh. yeah, I think Quest to Key specifically, I think it came out on the Wii Virtual Console in Japan, but yeah. Uh, it did not. Oh, then it continued. Really? Uh, age, uh, I'm just... There's gotta be a thing that Warp Back is gotta be, like, an, in, in the age of, like, because that's almost F. Like, going into the special stage into the not special stage, that has to be, like, an F. Yeah, no, it's it's dick bag. It's straight up like fucking later. What would become Kaizo bullshit? Yeah, yeah but then it get popularized in the NES era with uh, Atlantis No Naso or whatever. 
that, that's that why I is, said what would later become. Yeah, in Atlantis, that's like a weird like web of things going on. Mm. This is just straight up yeah, going no, this backwards. Is, there are straight up traps that will send you fucking 50, 70 floors backwards. Just to fuck And also, you. approach is... So backwards. Oh, yeah, okay. that, that, that game is terrible. Oh, like, actually... Oh. Like, that uh, game is is downright malicious. Uh, I, I I drug a nostalgia is, is the worst. I mean, I I still dig Tower, but that's it, it. It does a lot of things. Like it it has interesting concepts, just does not do them that well. No, yeah, T Tower of Draga is it, it's a bad game, and the weird nostalgia that surrounds it. it, it I mean, no, it, it's it's an interesting it. game that has aged incredibly poorly. Um. Uh, I, I don't. I, uh, there were other better games when. I mean, yeah, there were definitely better games, but I still think it tried to do something first. Um, it tried to do something bad. I mean, that'd be like saying Big Rigs tried to do something. <laughs> That's a bit much. That's a bit much. Anyway, um, it would be like saying Mighty Number no. Nine tried to do something. I don't know, it's just like Jawaga and the culture surrounding it, as well as the game itself and, and how it worked were kind of interesting and fascinating. The game itself, though, sucks absolute ass to go back yeah. to. That and, uh, we haven't, and, and we haven't seen a good spinoff of it yet, either, so... Um, been waiting a while. Yeah. Um, anyway. But uh, yeah, this this game is fucking terrible, and it... <laughs> but you yeah. did it! You cheated like a mofo, but you did it! Hey, he cheated like a motherfucker. Who gives a shit? Yeah, uh, uh, don't play that game fair. Don't try it. Okay, you but don't, don't play it. You're going to give up. <laughs> okay, but how about the Rust Monster for a single fucking level? For a single level. I I, I swear, I, I they must have been working on a D&D &D game or something like that and just chickened out or something. God, I should I should play one of those Project Cross Zones. Maybe yeah. it's not that they chickened out. Maybe it's that they couldn't get permission to make it D and D official. Yeah, or, or or we're worried they would actually get sued because D and D was suing everybody. Mm. Except mm. you forget that Japan is yeah. Like also, a Japan has really weird copyright, copyright stuff. Law. Yeah, I was going to say really weird. No, they just you rip people off, and either you get caught or you don't. That's how that they, works. They don't respect overseas yeah, they copyright. Yeah, they, they their copyright law is that they they don't care. Right. So that's not and weird. It's within the country, it's one thing, but outside of the country, they don't give a shit. Yeah, also, that's not weird. That's not caring. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, All right. If you want to catch up with this kind of series, um, if you're watching this on Twitch, I have a YouTube in which I re-upload um, uh, the VODs, a little bit edited. Fuck um, this game. And then, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can watch these episodes live uh, on... Yeah, you can watch them live if you follow me on Twitch. I'm so uh, sorry if you do. You can keep up to date um, by going to at Lolo the Puzzle on Twitter or follow me there. Also, if you want to take part in polls and various other things, you can join my Discord by going to discord.ldp.life. So, there you go. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good night. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm.